Hello everybody, I'm just about ready to get started. Welcome Chris. Welcome Imperameter. Let's shout a little bit. So it's been a... Oh. So it's been a little while since we... Played Terranigma specifically. So I was looking through some of my notes earlier. Like they were briefly on stream. <laughs> so... I think for some of these, we were just waiting for it to upgrade. And we still need to potentially revisit every town anyway. If we want to see if we could get the most out of what we can out of the game. And from what I vaguely recall last time, I stopped in Australia. So we're going to explore from basically Australia onwards. And see if we could get access to any new locations. Let's go ahead and pause the music, and I think we'll begin shortly. Doesn't sound right. There we go. <laughs> I think I had Soten volume on for it briefly. Controls are coming back to me. We're good. Alright, so I didn't really see any way to upgrade Suncoast. It's possible that it's not upgradable. I don't remember any quests at all. I didn't write anything last time. Hmm. Unless there's something like I just didn't go through here. Let me check my inventory out, just make sure I didn't miss something in my notes. So we got Tin Sheet, which I think I know what to do with. I didn't figure out other uses for Pretty Flower, it's possible I'm missing them in other places. We have Fever Medicine, the camera... Starstone, Engagement Ring, Dog Whistle, Log, Tech Bell, Tower Key. We're almost out of inventory space, which is funny to me. Hmm. Oh, OBS, don't do this to me. Not during Terranigma. I'm like, I, I already need all the strength I could do in order to stay connected. If it's going to drop again, I'm going to have to reschedule. I find that so distracting. I remember them talking about tourist attractions. So I did take a photo of this place already. That I remember doing. Was there anybody else I should have talked to? Okay. So this thing came from Litz. Okay. Nothing in here. So I'm going to talk to some people again. I feel like... We probably have something to do here. Mm hmm I don't know if I need to specifically bring the camera and try using it in here. Just, oh, you have photos in many places. May I see them? We'll say sure. Inform them of lore. Thank you, lore is it? Share information with people. Freedom, inform her about freedom. Neuralake will inform. Alright, so I don't know how many we need to do. I've given three. So maybe we'll check in later. I mean, maybe that was the upgrade. Make a note here. Suncoast needs more photos of locations. So I'll say lore, lake, whatever. That should be good. 
Can we inform them on game design? No, that that that's that's like an elusive piece. That that can't be found. We're in the sea house. No. We only have smorgasbord. You heard it. You can only have smorgasbord in Australia. You will eat all of it. Well, I can see something up there. Talk to these people. People don't come here because we're an island if we had access. Be able to come by boat. I'll get to like this village. Full meetings every day for promoting our village worldwide. Not as many attractions. The food is great. The koalas are cute. We don't get many visitors. I wonder what's wrong. Hmm. So they want another means of transportation, maybe? I'm gonna make a note. Uh, Sun Coast needs airports? So I, if I remember correctly, was it Nerd Lake? It's been a while. Um, they were talking about planes. Maybe they need air f airstrip plans? Maybe I have to go back to Nerd Lake with this information. There was a place we visited already that had air travel. So maybe we're going to introduce airports to uh, Australia to fix the problem. Apparently she'd rather not see people, see strangers coming to this place. So we'll come back here. Guys on E, sorry I would have sunk, it's true. Let us Suncoast is a huge stone mountain named Eris Rock. Eris Rock? Scientists there said he was going to observe the end of Earth. The world is so peaceful and yet we have still have disturbed people. That's, that is that is quite a series of sentences I just read. Let's go to the gift shop, I guess. The other guy's just doing exercises. Mysterious Serum, H Water, which is presumably Holy Water. Oh, does that get rid of Curse? Actually, hold on. We're- hold on. Hold on, we're, we're, at, we're buying at least one of these. Get lost if you're looking? What? So let me get this straight. I could buy Thunderpike for 2450 and it's 9 power less than my current weapon? Why would I ever use this? Yeah, there were plushes on the counter there. I swear the weapon system in this game is so whack. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Alright, well, let's go visit the... Air's Rock, I think they mentioned it as. Alright, nothing to do over there. So we have the obvious way up, is there any other- nope. I tried. I was looking for alternate paths. The answer is no. Yeah. Like, the only way that would balance out is if my stats just became so ridiculously large that the weapon difference wasn't substantial. The problem is, is that's not true. <laughs> that will make me do no damage. Oh. What was the point of coming here? Nobody's here. <sighs> I'm not gonna remember this for later. They're like, look out for that disturbed person. Literally no one there. <laughs> Thanks, game. Oh, hidden place. Okay. I swear if they both don't go to the same location. <laughs> don't tilt me already, Terranigma. They better both go to the same spot. I better not see one like halfway up go, tee hee, we don't go to the top, should have picked the other one. Oh my gosh. Get out of here, Terranigma. No, no, I'm not falling for your tomfoolery. No, bad Terranigma. No, they really did it. They really put a vine next to another vine that you go up like three screens only to find out you can't go up there. 
Chat, this game is made by trolls. <laughs> no. <laughs> did you... Did you feel my call out chat? Did you feel it in my heart? These game designers are absolute trolls. I don't feel bad for them at all. I don't feel bad for them at all. This is BS. <laughs> this is BS. <laughs> I'm like, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna point at stuff like this when people ask me why I get upset at this game. 228 gems, okay. Got a life potion. Well, I increased my max HP. It's always nice, I guess. I guess on the plus side, I don't have to equip it to use it. I could just use it directly. Actual, actual. Are you really not going to let me drop down either? Oh, there's no fast fall for this. <sighs> okay, they also should have put a fast fall, to be honest with you. I should not have to sit through this animation each time. Look how long you would take, by the way, to go all the way back down. <laughs> Chan, I'm trying not to be salty about the game, and it does stuff like this. I'm, I'm not okay with this. That's like, that is like East 3 BS. Oh, so there's another forest here. Uh... Okay. 892 gems. Well, guess who's not money grinding anymore? Oh boy, I get to practice timing again. I'm assuming that's all there is that's here. So, at least... Okay, I will give it this. Compared to some games... The side areas so far have been extremely rewarding. So now I guess the question is, where do we start going? Do I go back to... to basically the equivalency of Antarctica? Is there something else I should explore? I could stay on, like, the east side of Asia for now. But I have to look for a dock. There's, like, two docks here. I can't remember if one of these was Mew or not. Oh. I feel like it have been here before, but I'm just gonna confirm. Oh, no, they just reused the terrain, apparently. Speed shoes. Okay. What are speed shoes? Are they armor? Oh my gosh. What is... Oh no. I've never tried doing that before. That's horrendous. That is actually horrendous. OBS, please. I'm begging you. I don't know what that did for me, though. I don't see them in here. be moving faster maybe what i am noticing though is if i if i rapidly change directions it doesn't actually change my direction that's kind of horrendous so i could scoot forward and keep going in the same direction if i move too quickly so this is me inputting like left right left for example just end up going one direction the whole time more gems I don't know. I, I wasn't paying attention to his movement speed. I'm assuming I'm faster. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but I have it equipped for now. Okay. Oh, really? To go on the around the other side? That's rude. Also, Chad, I would like to point out one small detail that really bothers me. How come when I eat, have the life potion, it doesn't increase my health by 5? It only increases the max health by 5.
1403 gems. Wait a minute, that's way more than the others. Uh, okay. Oh, another chest. Glad I went over here. Luck potion up. Luck has been improved. Yeah, so so far, all grinder grinders and shambles. <laughs> the economy is just better out here. Why fight for 30 when you pick up like a thousand something for visiting a new area? Okay, so I, I feel like we're making our way through here. I'm just looking to see if there's any other offshoot things I should look at before I go further. I'm going to make sure I touch the small place that was down here, which I think I did. I'm going to make sure we visited New Zealand. I feel like we did, but I just want to do a safety check. Okay, I don't see anything here. I'm assuming I got it. To be fair, they're reusing the sprites, so it's kind of hard for me to remember if I've specifically been here or not. Okay, so let's assume New Zealand's out. So let's go... Before we go straight to China, what is this little bit of land that's in the middle of nowhere here? What is the game calling this? Oh, Polynesia. I guess that makes sense. Friend, you came here expecting a fancy resort, didn't you? The ultimate luxury is relaxing where nothing can disturb you. I can actually interact with it. Alright, so that was the other area unlocked. Can't do anything there. It's nice in the tropical sun. Wanna catch a nap? Sure. Maybe it will do. That looks nice. Pleasant dreams. Don't sleep too long. Did I fall asleep standing? What? Then we got burnt. Arco is crispily toasted. Arco's macho appeal went up by 10. What are we, the Kirby Superstar game now? Okay, did that actually heal me? Oh, I can't tell in the overworld. Oh well, we'll find out later. I like that I fell asleep standing up, though. <laughs> it was definitely a thing that just happened. And then later I teleported to the bed. So we went through here. Don't see anything here. There's a town over here. We're in Yunghu. Make a note. Also, I really should start listing where these are. I'm just going to write China so I can find this later. Nur Lake is uh, US Central. Suncoast is Australia. Because if I hear Suncoast, I might accidentally think it's something like California or something. Or Florida. Let's just kind of in the middle. Like, freedom I don't need any help with. And that's fine. I know where freedom is, chat. Hoping I wake up in a cannibal pot? Maybe. Uh, we'll start going over here first. Dragoon Castle was used by royal people a long time ago. I was tour guide at Dragoon Castle for many years. Now they're no work. Why are they speaking like that? We came to see Dragoon Castle, but it's not open to the public. Darn. This town has have many places you could see besides Dragoon Castle. I'm gonna ask if I could see the castle. That's right, what is Dragoon Castle like? Can I see it? Tour agent, hi uh, I'm so sorry, it's not open right now. Somebody buy it. Feel like that's borderline offensive <laughs> now that I'm saying it out loud, realizing where this is. So we're gonna we're gonna retranslate as we go through. I wasn't thinking about it, and then I'm like, no. Yeah, that's a bit much. And there's flies in the inn, really. Terranigma, please.
Well, chat, I guess this is a new way Teradeba can disappoint you. <laughs> Just, I wouldn't have called racist characters as part of the, the lineup, but here we are, I suppose. There are many strange diseases, my job is to cure them. Watch, watching sick people carefully, you always find out why they are sick. Okay. He's a wonderful doctor. Um... Cures from sick ants to love sickness? Sick ants? I don't know what that means. Do they mean literal ants? I was, I was assuming those are the things that he cures. It was just kind of a weird... No. OBS, please. I'm begging you. We're in Lon's place. Mr. Lon is upstairs. He's not He's not gonna talk to you. He's been acting strangely lately. Okay. What's wrong with Mr. Lon? What? Who are you? My business... My business is finished. I do not care about you. really gonna bother me. I might have to restart the stream. I really do apologize for it. It just... I don't know. Something's been wrong with the internet connection lately. Live this way now, but we had lean times in the past. For want of food, we abandoned our newborn daughter in a field? If she really is alive somewhere, I want to see her even just a glimpse. Wow, that's messed up. It's a terrible thing we did at abandoning a child like that. If only I knew that my daughter was even alive somewhere. So her name is Chija. Give me a moment. I'll write that down for later, but that's super messed up. So to recap, because I don't remember if it went through before the internet dropped. Apparently they just abandoned their daughter in the middle of a field, and they want to go see if she's alive. So I presumably have to find their daughter at some point. Yeah. So I just kind of paused at that point. I had a feeling it cut out right around that point. So just put the dialogue back in there. Okay, so I'm ignoring his pretty much offensive English. And they're saying a treasure is stolen. Or a treasure has been stolen from Dragon Castle. Speed shoots let you run like the wind and charge into things. Okay. So I guess that's the origin of why the speed shoes are there. There's the Enix building. They really have another self-insert. The Enix building is the Magic Shop building? Why? There's another store. So now there's the Dragoon Pike, but that's weaker than our current item. Why would I use it? Alright, so Wong and Lon are friends. Hmm. Was there an armor for sale? Oh, it's pretty bad. Unless it buffs strength, but I don't feel like finding out. I like that the character speaks offensive English, by the way. Like, we know he doesn't speak that way, but when he speaks to them, he's he's got to purposely cut words out of his sentence. Thanks, Terranigma. I'm not reading that dialogue. I'm so disappointed, Chad, on so many levels. Well, I found a magic rock at least. But at what cost?
you know it's okay to take like inspiration from like the architecture and things like that it's not okay the way they wrote the other stuff it's not okay I'm shaking my head. So I don't think there's anything else I could do here. <clears throat> Just make a note real quick. So I didn't see any other quests other than the flower. So unless that has to do with the town expansion, maybe this town also doesn't expand. I mean, at least maybe Australia will expand if I'm able to get more tourists there. Alright, what happens if I go into the castle? Okay, they reuse the castle music. Who are you? This place is off limits to the general public. See, I have to translate it. I am like looked at it and I'm like, I'm not going to say that sentence anymore. They, I think this is the first time I've ever played a game where I had to kind of censor it. I'll, like, I've censored like a word, but to like rewrite the script as you're reading it. I don't think I've had to do that before. So Terranigma lowering my trust in video games yet again. Thanks, Terranigma. Oh boy. Is there anything else I could do here? It doesn't look like it. Unless I could do something along one of these rivers, which doesn't look like we doesn't look like we can. So nothing we could do here for now. Uh I'm assuming this is just the yeah, Neo Tokyo. But I'm assuming there's nothing more I could do here. Hmm. Yeah, there was that weird, uh antique shop comment that we didn't follow up on. Like, unless there's something I'm supposed to do here. Oh, the cabaret. Ugh, I forgot about this place. Okay, I can't investigate the phone or the cash register. Again, the technology in this place seems all over the map. I just... I don't know, chat. It's very weird. Alright, so we visited Japan. Is there anything I could do along here at all? We haven't been to the equivalency of Russia still. Which I feel like I'm more dreading than being excited for, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, so there's like little mountain spots over there, but can't do anything there. I found Alaska. I can see my house from here. We're in Siberia officially. Hmm. It not look like I could dock anywhere. So I might have to come back to Russia later, or walk through Europe to reach it. What's this place up here? Hmm. Yes? Okay. All that for a single Majorock? Uh... I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> I was like, uh... I mean, like, it technically was a re reward. Why they needed to make the cave like this? At least give me, like, an enemy to fight or something along the way. It would have made it a little more interesting. That's what you call anti-climax, says Junzi. Welcome, Junzi. Well... I'm running out of things to do. I could deliver the great painting, I guess. 
to the rich man in the northern lands. Just looking for hidden areas now. It's literally called riches. This is super wealthy mag uh, magnet Sir Rich's mansion. Sir Rich is self-centered, but people like his generosity. What a clever name, chat. I'm rich. May say so. I'm super rich. I should decorate, but I can't find anything worthwhile. I have a suggestion. Money is no object. As I said, I'm super rich. Uh flip the painting. What is that painting? It's fantastic. I want it. They're not about the price. We'll say it's yours. Sure, it's yours. It's by Mattis who lives in lore. Is that so? I'll hang on I'll oh excuse me. I will hang it right away. This is my thanks. Akra tamed a thousand gems. Alright, so we have to inform Mattis we did something with this painting. Also, I realized I forgot to take a photo of China. I'll go back for that at some point. Will this appearance fool you is a shrewd judge? Okay. Well, we at least have a lot of gems now. We acquired speed shoes. I can kind of glitch out while running. I'm assuming I don't literally need to have these equipped. So just having them should speed me up. Alright, so that quest's out of the way. We need to revisit a couple locations. Now I'm back in Litz. Uh... I think I wanted to... Was it you? Might have been. I think they were asking for the can or the sheet. I think this is what you wanted. What's that you have there? What is it? Metal? That's it. Just thought of something to preserve sardines. Can you give that to me? Sure. Sure, take it. I just found it anyway. Okay, so that's one more thing off the list from what I've written down. Uh... I'm gonna write the word completed so I don't forget that I did this later. Uh, you can take photo. I'm gonna go back and take a photo. But we'll see if we can get other quests out of the way first. If we could find the daughter, then if I go back and talk to them, I might be able to get two things out of the way. So we'll look for the daughter first. Huh? Really now? That's great. Hell, I could give Tin Sheet away. Might be able to make big money with this. Hmm. Let's talk to the person, Hines or whatever. This one can you understand? Okay. So the town growth is still zero percent. Hmm. What do they want then? Interesting. Uh. Was there another industry I forgot about here? Maybe. Yeah, first playthrough. <laughs> Definitely also going to be only playthrough, to be honest. Is it you? Did you have something you wanted me to do? No, 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 you're the portrait person. Oh, you're the head shake guy, right? Yeah, you're the head shake guy, never mind. Oh, not a fan in the slightest, for sure. Uh... Oh, this person. What did you want? Like making pops says that's to make a direction for the church, what should it do? Okay, so I need... Okay, so let's write down for Litz. Um, I'm gonna assume pottery. Give rare material to crafter. So, okay, we have one more quest to do here. <laughs> I, I could count the ways, but I, I'm trying to remain positive, despite the game's very best efforts to tilt me. 
including but not limited to the absolute troll design we were just subjected to about 15 minutes ago. Actual trolling. Okay, was there anything I needed to do in lore? Take another look at it. Don't need to do anything in the toll gate. The town did upgrade, but I don't remember if there's anything else we needed to do. Let's see, do I have anything for the notes here? Uh, no. The game design, the plot, the... <laughs> Sometimes the controls. Alright, so we've now just told the other- we told Mattis the painter that his painting, uh, was well accepted. Holy F. The game design in particular. The balance of this game is, like, mind-bogglingly bad. Yeah, we just got through the Spain fight. It was very tedious. We beat it on second try, but it was just really, really tedious. I don't know what they were thinking. At the present culture level, no further progress can be expected. Okay, so lore... Okay, so if I'm going to translate this into a quest for myself. Lore. Other towns need to be upgraded. How many times? I don't know. Let's write this down. The balance is very tight. Oh, that is, uh, I don't know if I would use that word tight. I would say untested. You cannot tell me going from <laughs> the, the wood level to the, the castle was fairly balanced. Or how much grinding they expected you to do for that castle. It's just phenomenal. I think balance was mostly fine up until maybe the woods. And since then, it's been like a total, total bomb. But I agree with your other statement. You could be over and under level very quickly. Like, I think we were over leveled underground. And then as soon as we went above ground, we were about the right level. And then pretty much after getting trolled, uh, that's all we could really do there. Oh, there's a port there. Interesting. So I can use this to travel through here. Huh. Does that really do anything for me, though? I don't think it does. Hmm. Alright, well, let's park here for now. Is there something I could have done in the desert area? Oh, actually, no, 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 let's not go, let's not walk through that way again. Is Can I, can I just go take the ship to the other side? I'm not going through that BS again. I'm like, I have the directions written somewhere for that, but I really don't feel like doing that again. It was pretty horrendous. Yeah. I think they got rid of the very restricted leveling from, like, Soul Blazer and Illusion of Gaia, and this was, like, the first time you were kind of on your own for leveling, and they did not balance it in the slightest for leveling that properly. Also, what is that hitbox on the camel? Look at- look at that wall! Damn, camels, like, do not approach. <laughs> like, I can get close to- oh no, I can't get close to that camel. Just too powerful. It's probably the smell. That's fair. Okay, there's a desert merchant here. You buy goods in towns and sell while moving. You wish to buy. What are you selling? Wait, what? Oh, why did I have to talk to him a second time? Oh, so your equipment is just actual booty. Got it. Crystal? What is crystal? Uh, 
I'm trying to remember what button gave me a description. Oh, high grade crystal for art. I was just gonna buy it because we hadn't seen what it done before. Okay, well, now I gotta go back to the other place, apparently. Also, apparently there's more than one merchant. Never trust the desert, yada yada. I'm also looking to see if there's a small child somewhere we forgot to talk to. So I'm figuring, like, either, <laughs> like, this place, since I felt like something was probably at the Oasis, or, like, a no the Nomad Camp probably has the person we're looking for. Okay, is there any other hidden things I should know about in the giant desert? Okay. Hmm. What's... what's What's the point of this? What? Was I here before or something and I just forgot? <laughs> I'm just assuming that's the case. I didn't see any treasures, so that was kind of pointless. But I don't see how else I could have been here. So, thanks? Unless it's something dumb like there's a hidden treasure. Oh. Oh, that was fortuitous. More gems? Sure, why not? I was looking for the gravestone the guy mentioned, so that I was looking to see if there's an actual location with the bones. Well, we basically tripled our money so far. I mean, I might as well zigzag a little bit just to check. Was there really nothing in this other location, wherever it was? Hmm. Not something dumb like it's like, oh, you didn't touch the cactus, you don't get the hidden treasure. Uh, doesn't feel like it, at least. How many hints do I want? Zero. Not interested. Oh, well, we'll come back later. Maybe. I'll write down... Sahara. Mysterious. Desert. No treasures. Hmm. Okay. Just making some small notes, sorry about the delay. Well, I might as well go back north and then deliver the crystal. So we're in the equivalency of fetch quest mode for a little bit. Welcome, Dango. I don't look forward to going back to the next dungeon. I'm just, I just no, the excitement factor is zero, chat. <laughs> like, listen, I'd rather sail around looking to do side quests than deal with another dungeon at the moment. We, we gotta work our way into the game design. Let's talk to you. Guys, okay, so we're just gonna hand him the crystal that we just happened to get conveniently, like, one screen away from this place. So he has an idea. So, does that change the economic index? He's... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So he said, There's no local industry here, at least one key industry is needed. Well, such progress in the village is not possible. And now the growth went from 0% to 50%. Wait, it doesn't... That doesn't track. But I already did your quests. Oh, unless I had to take tin sardines. Well, I guess now I have tin sardines. I don't know what I need them for. But they're mine now, I guess. Well, I'll just make the- I'll make note that I have these. Yeah, so we'll sail through the world again. So presumably this place will upgrade now. So I'll just come back later. I'm not in a rush. I don't care.
Okay, so let's continue on our journey. So we'll eventually make... You know what? Before I go to the middle, let me just sail over here. No, 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 no. Let's not do that quite yet. I changed my mind. We're looking for the girl. If I find the girl, I'll go back. And then we could check Australia one more time. As a thing for Cape Town, but there's nothing to do at Cape Town. We do anything at Madagascar? No. Can't park our boat anywhere here. Hmm. No ports at all. Kind of unfortunate. Huh. I guess there really aren't that many places I could put the boat. Which is kind of disappointing. Now let's go back to Australia briefly. So I didn't find the girl, but I also didn't find the nomad camp again. It's possible I have to just walk across Europe again to get to it, which would be kind of annoying. Talk to basically everybody here. No, I don't want coconut juice. Just looking to see if there's anything else that feels like a quest. So aside from helping them with their meat. Oh my god, I'm getting juked. Yeah, so we're being told what they're looking for, but that. We don't need anything here. Is there anybody I didn't talk to? We were in here, I thought, already. Did you want anything now? No. You talked about the mountain, but I can't do anything there. I'll go through the north exit in a little bit, in case that is, like, part two of the town. Talk to everybody in the square. Although, now that I have speed shoes... Okay, I don't do anything different in this room. Hmm... Went to the sea house already. I guess that's it. Oh. Okay, so this is a new area. Okay, so there is a place that I missed. And here's the person that confirms we can upgrade. Its location is extremely bad, chat. Attracting people and promoting the town's name are essential. The town's economic growth is 0%. Voila. my beef is the best in the world. I wonder how I could let the whole world know about my beef. Can you advertise for me? Sure. No problem. How do I advertise? A single bite is worth a thousand words. Give you a sample. Give this to someone who can appreciate the sample. We acquired tasty meat. Well, we now officially have a quest here. So Sun Coast... Hasty meat to question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, I think there was a Gorman somewhere we played like two sessions ago. Hmm. So I'll just make a note of that for now. Wish the gift gains its own sprite. Hmm. Okay. So, at least now we have something to do in Sun Coast. We're gonna take a picture of China since I'm here. But we still didn't find the daughter, which is a bit annoying. So, we'll keep an eye out for the Nomad Camp. I feel like it was, like, in the middle of, uh... Europe, but there's not like a convenient way to go through there. I really don't want to go through the desert again, for example. So if I remember, they were like next to a desert last time we found them, because they moved from... 
basically France to the east somewhere. So anyway, I took a photo of this place. Okay. Actually, I also don't know if I need to take pictures of Britain. I'm assuming I don't need to because it's just a house. over here. I'll talk to you in case this is required. Oh, nope, they are not interested in the photos, apparently. Unless I unequip it or something weird. No, it's still equip. Okay, well, I can't give them the tourist photos, so I'm gonna mark them off of the list for now. Is there really not another way to dock? Aside from being here? Because there's no... There's nothing I could do here. I wish I could dock, like, right here. And be on the other side here. But I don't see a dock on the southern side. Hmm... Do I really- do I really have to cross through the desert again? That's very disappointing if I do. Because I don't see anything to do down here either, which is a bit weird. Because it feels like maybe there's something I could do at the little mountain at the bottom here. But I don't see a way to come over here quite yet. Just like there's all these mountain ranges over here, but I don't know how to reach them. So it just feels like it's divided so I can only boat here. So maybe the birds will eventually let me fly here? I don't remember if one of their destinations brought me here or not offhand. We'll try that eventually. I'm gonna try one thing before we go further. Yeah. Because we did go through like the, the Cradle of Life equivalency of things. Oh, is that it? Oh, I don't have to- oh, I don't have to do that anymore? Oh, that's much better. Yeah, was there anything else I needed to do here, is the question. No. Does Lahasa now count as a place I can photo? I guess not. Well, screw Lahasa, apparently. <laughs> I haven't been back here with the camera. I thought it was worth a shot. Hmm. Let's see what I'm looking for so far. Yes, I don't think anything changed in here, so it's not worth revisiting. The so Lahasa's out. I'm not gonna revisit Lahasa going forward. It's a shame I can't just cross the mountains here. So it would just be easier to get to the port. There's the troll trial. I'm not going back there. Okay. So I think with that, we're just gonna head back. So it looked like I wasn't at least forced to do the really dumb whole diagonal, but not quite diagonal path through there. So that was pretty bad. <laughs> it was like, if you just hold up and left, it wasn't good enough. You had to hold up for a while, then left. 
did not really work well with the movement mechanics of the game. It ended up being a time waster. Uh, is there anything else I should do? Oh, so this is the Nomad Camp. Okay. Nihau? Okay. I s hold on. It's not going to be, like, another person I have to bribe with flowers, right? Oh, of course it is. <laughs> so we're going to say you can have the flower. Get pretty flower to the little girl. She thanks us. She says she's Chija. Oh, so annoying. We had at least one other NPC in the game so far, where we had nothing but dot dot dots. And you just kind of have to infer. <laughs> yeah, they're actually mad that we're breaking into their tents. Do we really have to do the puzzle to get out of here? I swear if we do. That's going to go on another, just another bullet point on the pissing me off list. Please tell me I don't have to actually do the puzzle again. <sighs> oh no, we really do. Why would they do this? Let me go back in my notes. I don't know why they would do this. On my notes. Can I just reset? <laughs> just because I, I only know from like the entrance. I'm gonna just hold right and hopefully we leave at some point. It's apparently time wasn't enough for these people. Apparently, listen, they 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 were busy doing their little secret Easter egg bullshit in Neo Tokyo. Listen, they can't do this to be convenient for the player. I think I just go left, then I go down at the rocks. Is it that cactus? No, no, no it, was the, it was the squiggly. So I'm noted we had to get to the squiggly, but the problem was like, we need to go like a very specific angle to get to the next part. Like, something like this. Really hope I didn't miss it. I think I missed it. Damn. I hate this so much, Dad. I really do. <laughs> this this goes into the mmm. I'm trying not to lose patience with the game, but stuff like this really makes me mad. Like, I don't even think I got the direction wrong. Like, it's definitely upper left from this, but then it's like, which one do they want it from? Like, is it like I've tried from there? Like, are they do I have to do it from here specifically so that I don't miss a line? Like, what magic spot do I need to stand in for this to work? hate this so much. I think I, okay, I found how to exit at least. Then I go up. Stupid. And then it's like past the skull, which I can clip into for some reason. Sure, whatever. Ugh. Just <laughs> how exhausting, chat. So I think I'm ready to proceed. I don't think there's anything else I could do unless I go back to America. I can briefly see if I get a reward from China by reporting on the daughter. 
But that's about it. I think everything else is just pending. Uh, things I don't have yet. Oh, oops. I don't know why I went to freedom. Not paying attention. I mean, we'll go there eventually. Actually, was there anything I need to do in South America? I don't think I explored South America at all. No, 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 that's not true, actually. I walked there once. I will see if I need to take a photo of this place. Stupid flowers. Alright, so we took a photo of Leoto. I don't know if I told them about Australia, so it wouldn't hurt to revisit some of these places, just to make sure. But I don't think most of these places cared. I think places like Freedom, Lore... Maybe Litz cares? But yeah, I don't remember a tourism booth here, so let's move on. There's that little patch of forest right at the tip. Oh. Well, that forest isn't an optional area. Interesting. What's the point of this area? Oh, there's like one, one building by itself. What is this? Estracia? There used to be nothing in the goblet. What? Um, I don't know how to write this in the notes. Weird. Am I supposed to fill the goblet with something? Hmm. I'm assuming this will mean something later. I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll make a note. Stracy is here. Uh, Stracia, West Coast, South America. Needs something on altar. Question mark, goblet, wine, maybe? No. Anyway, I don't think there's anything I could do with that now, so we'll just move on. I think we've gotten a good amount of gems. I doubt I found all the secret areas, but I think I did an okay job. We've at least been trying to park at every port. You know, if there's some beyond that, then whatever. Uh, well now we're in Alaska, which I feel like I didn't explore at all. Let's check for hidden stuff here. Hmm. Lone forest by itself. No surprise, this is a secret area. Stopover. Okay. Do I want to use them yet? I'm going to do that last. There is a house that's here. Sending migratory birds here. Migratory birds have different flight paths. For example, Alaska and Australia, North America and Cameo, North America and Savannah, South America and Greenland are flown. Birds are wonderful. I wish I was a bird. Okay, so he's just telling me where they go. Uh, we're gonna explore the woods a little bit just to make sure there's nothing in here. I'm gonna try to sweep somewhat intelligently to see if there's something in here. At least I could say like I tried to find it. There we go. It's 
Strength potion. That's actually huge. Listen, chat. Anything that increases our damage by one at this point, I'll take it. <laughs> Just... <laughs> you, you've seen how low our damage is sometimes. Holy... Alright, so I'm doing an okay job, as I said before. I doubt I'll ever find 100% of the items without a guide. But at least it could say, hey, we, we tried. I think I'm experiencing the average new player experience. <laughs> and if it happens to be full of trolly nonsense, that's the game's fault, chat. That is the game's fault. Okay, I'm not seeing any hidden areas over here. So I guess I could fly just to see where it takes me. Sure, let, let's see where the bird takes us, because the worst thing that happens is we just go back. That's it, seriously? Disappointing. <laughs> well, time to go back. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. I guess we're almost ready to proceed. I think I could do something with the tasty meat. Otherwise, I, I don't think there's anything else I could do. that out of the way, I guess we'll just head back to Freedom. See if there's anything we can upgrade there. And we'll go to, uh... I think it was a name... I think it was a pun name. I think it was Stoma. We'll go back to Stoma. Because I think that's where the gourmet eater was. We'll give him tasty meat. Aside from that, I'm not sure if there's anything else we should be doing. Yeah, that was a fly-only location, I think. So, unless there's something in, like, Cuba or something. I mean, is there? Well, it's here. We can't do anything with it. Whatever. Let's go to Freedom. See if they need anything new. The town does look bigger. Freedom grew larger when shipping routes opened. The way it's growing... Excuse me, the way it's going, Freedom will have people from around the world. Hmm. Uh, let me sh make sure I take a photo of this place. I keep forgetting I have it equipped already. Just in case, it needs to be updated. Let's tell them about Australia. Wait, how come Suncoast wasn't there? What? How come they only want to know about Lore and Neuralake? That's kind of messed up. What happened? Did I, I swear I took photos of Suncoast several times at this point. I mean, I'll, 
I'll try to go back there again to take another photo. I'm like 99% certain I took a photo of it at this point. Oh. Oh, I thought Stoma was the pl Never mind. Never mind. Stoma is not the name of the town. It's literally the name of the Gormans. Let's give them tasty meat. Let me sample it. Sure. We'll say, sure. You want to try? It's beef from Suncoast. Suncoast, huh? I haven't heard much about that place. Well, let me try. Akre handed tasty meat to Stoma. My bad. I thought Stoma was the name of the town. Hmm. The appearance is extremely appealing. Pass. He sniffs. Room was also not unpleasant. Pass. Chomp Chew Chat. Mm hmm? It tastes great. Pass. I still may give my vote of confidence. This will become popular. Must reward you for your most delicious gift. Please take this. 100 gems? What a cheapskate. <laughs> right, chat? Wait a minute. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I should talk to the girls once just to make sure there's no other quests here. Okay. Nothing really new there. They're just saying they have the clothes we gave them. Oh no, Bell, do you have any updates? Okay, so he's now saying he invented the telephone. You think I lied? Talk to the machine like this in the back room. Okay. They say, my name is, my name is. It's me, Bell. Can you hear me? You can hear my voice clearly, right? Okay. See, if everyone has these at home, no one will ever go lonely. Which finally came true. So we helped him invent the phone. Is there anybody else we have to talk to? What about you, Betty? Is your new machine ready yet? Oh, hi. Thanks to your help. Beginning to understand electricity. Thinking of running the final experiment. Oh, okay. Can you help me again? Sure. Oh, oh! I, I just realized. <laughs> I don't know why that took me so long to realize. Is this supposed to be Thomas Edison? I wasn't really thinking about it until now. I guess it is. The same time as me. Press the switch at the left of the machine. I'll give you a signal to cue you. Oh no! Not a not a I'll cue you thing. No 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 no. <laughs> There we go. Well, we didn't get fantasia at least. Yeah, we did it! Look at that. That's light of electricity. Doesn't this not make any sense in the context of the world? So let me get this straight. These people are excited for electricity when we've visited not one, but two locations with electric signs. How does that work? <laughs> It's weak and small now, but it will grow. People will return to homes lit by this light at night. Like fire enabled human civilization to advance. I think the light of electricity will show the way to more progress. I sincerely hope this light will show the correct way for progress. Neon even, says John Z. Yeah, exactly. Grateful for your help. I still got a lot to do. I have to study how to get this light of electricity to people. Well, apparently, just sail, sail to Asia. They did everything better than you already. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, anything else worth doing here? Okay, so they're talking about the flying machine. I think we were looking for Will. I think that's where we last were in the plot. So presumably once they finish the plane, that will finish off Australia. And that might help this town if it's related. Okay, so they're saying they still don't have enough information for some reason. Whatever. I don't know who I missed, but we'll move forward. Let's go back to Nur Lake, take a photo. The serum is the strong... Oh, did I ever... I don't think I bought the serums that I saw. That's eh, probably gonna suck. Forgot I didn't have those already. Hmm. The flying workshop was, like, up here or something like that. I'm just looking for that again. No, not you. sure it wasn't at the inn. We'll talk to that guy in a moment. Yeah, this is... Yeah, no, uh, I didn't... Uh, I didn't mean to talk to the diary. Yeah, we got the, the, the metal here, so I think we're just looking for Will. Let's make a note here. Alright. Uh, so just gonna say Nur Lake. Waiting on Will to make plane. Okay. So maybe now we're officially out of things to do. I think we've leveled basically every other location. So with that, I guess we'll finally do the plot, question mark. I, I think that's all I could do for now. I upgraded basically every place once. I could go back to Litz at some point. I'll make a note to revisit Litz. make note lore needed other towns to be upgraded so it's possible once we're done with these upgrades we'll see everything get upgraded oh geez i haven't saved in like an eternity i should probably save somewhere let me save at this in it's like i really in case something weird happens i'd really rather not redo everything we just did Yeah, that would have been, like, probably about a solid 35 minutes of item collection and talking to random people. Would be nice to not do that again. 
Uh, with all that out of the way, let's see how BS this dungeon is. Yeah, yeah, she's not coming back. Blah, blah, blah. She's already dead. Have your engagement ring or whatever. There you go. Remember that from last time, at least. Oh, that ring. Something happened to her. Yeah, apparently a ship accident. He dot 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 dots us. I see. She had never been late before. Thank you for telling me. I will go see her. Uh... Well, anyway, let's... Whatever, I don't feel like... Listen, if the game doesn't want to acknowledge that, I'm not going to acknowledge it. All right, question. How awful are the enemies here? One-shotable? They do a million damage to us. You know what? That's fine. I don't really want to get into fights here. Oh, when you don't get the dash attack, that is the worst feeling. Speaking of which, oh, I got bopped. You know what? It's okay if we die. It's okay if we die. I'm just going to go heal by going back to the end. So let me get this straight. We're at the point in the game where I can legitimately get four shot. Wow. I'm not wasting my healing items on that. I'm just letting you know. I would rather take the reset than waste my healing items. But my question is, how much XP was that even worth? Let's take a look. I think I have the best possible armor on. I have the best possible weapon, I'm pretty sure. I'm just really curious. Okay, I'm not that far off from leveling at least. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> I imagine these level ups must be giving like three, four, five defense a level. Because I don't see why it would be fair for them to be doing 50. The, the, the other fish doing 33 seemed a bit high, but 50 was... Or even anything remotely close to 50 is very silly. So anyway, let's practice our invulnerability dashes since, you know, that's a thing we have to do in this game. I am... Is it because the dialogue is coming up that it messes up the timing? <gasps> it is! Uh oh ew! This game has dialogue lag! Oh. oh, I hate that so much. That's exactly what happened. I got lagged. <sighs> okay, well, I'm just gonna accept death to these. <laughs> just straight up. Chow, I'm gonna be honest with you. Error. Oh, that really eats... Oh, that's... Mm. Dialogue strikes again. Remember chat... So remember chat when, uh... I was in the woods, and I couldn't open the treasure chest due to dialogue. A similar thing is happening with the dash attack. So, like, you have to wait, like, a little bit of time. Like, you can see, like, I'm chaining it successfully here. But when the dialogue comes up, I think it's legitimately either lagging, so there therefore not enough frames have passed in the dash attack animation, or it straight up is eating my first attack and causes me to jab when I double tap. Because I usually double tap inputs. It's like, I'm not having any trouble now. It was only when the dialogue was there that I was, like, dropping every single one. Oh, that is so obnoxious. So what is what is Air Herb? I don't even have an idea of, like, what I would need this for. Yeah, it's just really annoying. I think because, like, A advances the dialogue, I think that's what's happening. So it's another accessory. It appears to work by just holding it. But I don't... <laughs> I don't know what to do with it yet, question mark. So, I guess we'll try diving at some point. And there's bubbles over here. Maybe I could do something here now. Oh, okay. Now I could do something here. Fair. Fair. That's fair. I would like to get some easy kills that don't involve enemies with dialogue. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Terranigma. <laughs> 
You can't make this stuff up. That is... <laughs> Hold on. So you're telling me the first time you introduce me to the bubbles, their secret passageways, <laughs> then you show them one room later and they're used for enemies? <laughs> that is that is effed up, Terranigma. That is actually messed up. <laughs> this one is special. This is so stupid, I swear. How people put up with this game sometimes. Oh, indeed. I do need to level at some point, but it has to be something I can actually feasibly fight, not like BS fish. Oh, man. All right, can we at least go down the waterfall? We can. Were you worth XP? Uh, I'm sorry. How tanky are these things? They took like five hits from me. Curiosity, how much XP were they worth? That was... that was okay XP. That was okay XP. Oh, you're one of these where you're like never vulnerable. Cool. I mean, we should kill as much as we come across because I'm very close to leveling. So I have like incentive to actually kill things at the moment. I'm just waiting for them to just open up arbitrarily. Come on. Thank you. Come on. I don't even care about the money, I just actually want the XP. But every enemy here is kind of annoying to deal with. So I could maybe drop down there to go back in the water, but I don't see the point of doing that yet. Let's take the staircase. What? That shadow! Mm-hmm. What is that shadow? Help! Someone help! What? I thought I heard someone. And away it goes. I'm assuming that might be Will and company for crashing the plane. I'm guessing. Oh, there's current here. Uh, well... Down we go, I guess. <gasps> that was so lucky. <laughs> that was so lucky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chat, I, chat if, if we had not been going through our tried and true strategy of go left when in doubt, I absolutely would not have found this treasure. I would have been going in circles. Oh my gosh, that was so lucky. Got magic anchor. Oh, that was so lucky. Oh, okay. We skipped, we skipped the BS of the dungeon, I think. I don't know how you're supposed to know it was here, but we got it. <laughs> like, would we just have seen it if I went right? Because we never go right first. That's the rule of thumb. Now I have the magical anchor. Hmm. Is there anything else I could do here? Yeah, so... If I had gone right, I don't think I would have seen that. Well, that's... Hmm. That's that's what we like to call in the business a game design decision. It can bounce me randomly. Okay. How much XP are you worth? I mean, I'm kind of okay with this. If all you do is bounce me backwards, I'm okay with this. Please die. Oh, still didn't level though. One day, Chad. We'll we'll attain that elusive level up that I'm going for. Okay, secret passage. Do I take the secret passage? Do I go through the door? I guess I should go left first. This is... Oh, see, this is feeling like progress. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna check the door. It's possible the door is just a small item room. Okay. I don't like how each of these feel like they're progress and not an item room. How high up does this go? Yeah, that just brought me back up here. Which lets me get to this chest. 753 gems. Well, at least now I can purchase healing at a decent rate. Oh, 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 let's dodge the dodge the BS damage. Okay, so if I let, let's say I come down here, would I have any indication? No, no, I would have had no indication that over there was uh, actual something that I needed. I just uh. Okay, now I want to heal because I don't feel like going back. So there's like a small delay before I can attack when I bounce, and I I gotta respect the delay. That was my fault. Oh, I forgot. The thing that I'm looking for is... Here. I think that's what I wanted. So none of these item none of these enemies are like super fast to kill, which is a bit concerning. But we do need to level. Because it's very clear I feel underpowered. Or not underpowered, under armored. Oh, the frog things are gonna mess up my dash attack. So on the left is a passageway. What was on the right? Just an enemy? Ooh, double hit. Uh, and I got sunlocked. I think I'm in trouble here. Is that un I don't think I have a serum. Question, does poison kill you in this game? We'll do it for science. I didn't want to die here, but let's find out together. Or does it leave me at like one? Alright, so I can't do anything there, so we've learned. I would have liked to have continued, but sadly, the double strike. I think I died due to poison. Alright. So let, let's go back and get some serums then, because otherwise it's literally just one touch kill and I would burn like maybe legitimately all of my magic rock cures, because I think I have something that does cure status ailment at least. But yeah. Like I'd like to remind you, chat, that like our armor right now, I <laughs> just want to remind you. We got the C mail, which is way stronger than anything else we've seen offered, and we're dying that fast to random hits. Like, that's crazy. Like, we got the armor literally from the previous place, and we're taking four hits, we die. This game's difficulty is like all over the place. Uh, was there a shop here? There might not have been, actually. Hmm. At least I didn't see one that looked like a shop. I mean, I should be able to go back to Freedom and get it. If I'm really desperate, I can go back to, uh... I think it was Australia that had it. Hope you just have it, though. Yeah, you do. Get nine, so I don't have to come back here again. Uh, we're gonna get a lot more large balls for boss battles. Guess we can't use the jewel box there. We'll buy another star dude just in case. Also, curiosity, how far were we from leveling? I really hate that I have to do this every single time when I look at the XP. Oh, we were one kill from leveling. That's such a shame. So yeah, we definitely should level. There's not really, like, an easy room, per se, that I was seeing, like, a lot of XP. Like, the pupa have an annoying block mechanic, the flowers are invincible for long periods of time, the other ones throw dialogue bubbles, which mess up the timing. So, like, not a single enemy here is really friendly to the farm. It's not like the zombies or, like, 
the knights, where they were relatively easy to take care of. I don't know what's up there. I don't think I'm going to explore. I mean, I could try killing a slime. It could just be number of hits for the slime versus HP. Oh, glitch! Oh, we glitched the game! Oh, did you see that glorious glitch? Oh, the glitch! Oh, that was a beautiful glitch. I'm clipping that later. We, uh, we leveled, and in the level up pose, we did infinite damage. <laughs> this one is oh, the glitch. Oh, that, that was satisfying. So, one level up was 11 HP. That is a lot of health, I will state. That puts us out of four touch range by itself. Uh, that's sort of reasonable. I think that's about 22 kills. That's not, that's like a not unreasonable amount of kills. It's just the problem is that these enemies are annoying. If it, if it was any, oh, see that time we would have seen it. If it was any other damage type or any other enemy type, I would have been farming one more kill, I think. Since uh, two defense, 11 health is kind of big. Because that puts us out of the four touch range. And as you can see, it is rather annoying to deal with. Also, why are all the menus like this? <laughs> this kills me. Um, I'm gonna preemptively... Yeah, we never found out what to do with the fever medicine. Maybe it's a plot item for later? I'm not sure. I just realized. We have the log, which I could get rid of at any point. I could dump in the hole. I don't know what to do with the tin sardines at all. We have an okay amount of healing. I don't have a lot of S bulbs, but they kind of suck. Hmm. Let's use the magical anchor for now. I'm assuming that just makes me resistant to the current. Okay, found another chest. That's a good sign. What's in it? Geo staff attained. Okay. How is that in comparison to what we're using currently? I imagine booty garbage. Let's find out. So we are using the Enbu Pike. Or we could use... The Geo staff, which is only one less damage. Does it confer anything else? 3543. It might be worth using just due to type. I'm just curious about this C Spear. It's generally, I think it said staff should do something. Ah, oh, so it did give more. It gave more defense. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. And how much defense do I have with Embu Pike? Did this give any stat differences here? I never checked it. Oh, that gives minus five. Oh, so that's like a 10 armor defense difference. Oh, oh I'll equip the Geostaff then. So I basically get 10 defense and lose one damage. But we have an alternate weapon for bosses at least. So that should really put me out of the four touch range for all enemies. Yeah, good thing we checked. I didn't realize there was negative defense in this game, but I guess we learned. I mean, it two shot the flower. That's a good sign. If nothing else, you can view it this way. Our level up makes up for the attack loss. So it's like we didn't level, but just became extraordinarily tanky. Yeah, two shotting the two shotting the flowers would make farming them way more sane. Because they were taking like what, four hits before? I think because they have a weakness to it, they're just taking a lot more. So now let's look at our XP just from clearing this room. 249. Uh, let's do this real quick. Let's get a couple makeup kills because I did skip a room of damage. I did not dodge that like I wanted to. The slime divided, stopping my uh, attack again. Thank you, uh, text on the screen. My favorite feature, Chad. I love it.
Don't you love it, chat, when you hit a button but it doesn't do anything because dialogue? So they're worth about 60. So those enemies are not super worth it. Are the flowers worth it? They're worth about 80. Flowers are kind of worth it because we two-shot them. Or in that case, if we crit, we one-shot. So one-shotting for 80 XP when we need about 1,500-ish to level is not terrible. We've done worse. That just puts us up here. So presumably we now have to... Hey, that room just went into a big circle. That's disappointing. Presumably we have to go back to the waterfall we were at earlier. Oops. Also, I like how we went from taking 50 damage to 20. From one level up and one armor change. It's certainly something. Yeah, there is a magic rock up there. The stupid dialogue. See that? Like, it did it again. I really hate that. Why is that a thing? I gotta purposely delay it so that doesn't happen. Hmm. Let's try to reach the stone. Is there something I need them to blast? Like, did I need them to blast the magic rock here? Hmm. Oh, oops, I didn't switch to the jewel box. Can I just use this directly? Okay, I can just use this directly. Hmm. Alright. So let's 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 think about this. So Let's observe the room. What does the game want us to do? So, logic would dictate... We need to be able to get to the right somehow. We saw there's no other path to get here. And there's also a magic rock we can't reach. Theory. We need to get water into this room. Because we have everything else. Like, see how there's, like, the stairs? So this would be, like, the stairs to potentially go in the water. So I think... I think... Let's kill everything in here. Oh, I got confused. Oh, the confusion is a random direction. That feels terrible. Oh, that feels so bad. Okay, if chat wants to know what was happening, down was right. It's not opposite directions, it is random, as far as I can tell. So, in the time it took me to figure out what Confuse was, I got, uh, Poison, which really sucked. And apparently you can stack status ailments in this game. I did not know you could do that, and that's horrible. Um... Oh, man, it changed directions on the Confuse just as I was learning it. Man, this sucks. Status ailments in this game suck, chat. I'm holding- now it's opposite directions, now it changed again. How annoying. I don't care if we use pins, it's cheaper to use the pins than to use the healing items. So I think I want to do... Grass pin into... The other pin? Because this one will just heal me, I think the other one will cure status ailments. I'm just trying to think which one it was. I don't think it's the bone pin, I think the bone pin will teleport me, which I would really prefer not to have happen right now. I th think it's the wind pin will cure me. I hope it is. No, it's an attack. Or is it a cure? It's very long, whatever it is. Oh no, it was a cure. Okay. So I shouldn't have doubted myself. That did work as intended. Alright, so there's a rock here. Do I have to throw it at the wall? Because there's like cracks of water? Okay. I'm, I'm kind of understanding what it wants me to do. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Cool. 
we attain the Majorock. Oh, I just wanted them to be targetable. Come on. Seriously. Please become targetable. Ooh, you have a resistance to Earth? That's not good. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. No, they did damage to me. I need these things away from me. The problem is that now these things are blocking the doorway, and I can't dash attack through them. That is quite a combo to deal with. I'm going to go ahead and burn another grass pin, because I don't care. I'm going to keep all my healing for the boss, because you know there's going to be a boss. Okay, so now we're here. Hmm. Secret passageway? Hey, what's in here? Dragon mail, okay. We immediately invalidated the armor we got not even 10 minutes ago if you count dungeon time. Cool. Dragon Mail is weaker than what we have on. Why would I equip this? Are you feeling okay, game? <laughs> Why did you give me an armor that's worse? Does it have some other ability? Protects against lightning strikes. At least it makes you immune to poison. We don't care about most of these things. So you gave me a worse armor, but it gives me lightning resist. I'm not going to equip that unless I see something that does lightning. To be honest with you. Hmm. Can't do anything here. enemies are so annoying. I'm assuming there's nothing on the other side, so I'm gonna keep going down. Wow, even the rapid jab does that much damage? That's crazy. The eyeballs are officially the most annoying thing in the world to us right now, as we can't really kill them or dash through them. I see like a little spot behind the waterfall. Well, I said always go left when in doubt. Let's not break that habit now. Okay. Okay. I think I found the exit at least. So left worked. There's other item. Oh, hello. Hidden in torments. Go see. Oh my gosh, we're doing three damage. What? Um, am I supposed to be doing more? Let me go back to... Let's keep our defense mostly the same. How about the spear? Does that do anything differently? Does literally the same damage. This is the Reaper's power. Oh my gosh, we're doing nothing. Wow. I 
Oh, okay, okay. The, the, oh, we got bailed so hard. Okay, we, we have damage. We have, we got, repeat, we have damage on the boss. Oh my gosh, that was about to be a nightmare run. Did you see what I mean? Like how weird the balance in this game? I went from doing 2 to 63. Like that's kind of not okay. That, that's not okay. When they have like 100 something health. Okay, just come down. Come on. Okay, I burned the starfish off. I oh I died. I didn't realize it was doing 88. Damn, I didn't realize it did 88. That's really punishing. That sucks. Sorry, Chad. I, I thought I had, like... I only got tagged, I think, three times, but that is a lot of damage. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. My bad, Chad. We almost had it. I think we were at the final part. So, yeah. I just... Just stupid. For some reason, I thought it said 66. If your chat was curious. I'm gonna blame me having bad eyesight on that. Because I thought I only took about 130. I didn't realize I took like 170, because that did make a big difference. Yeah, just stuff we gotta deal with, apparently. Well, I guess we can double check and see if there's anything I missed. So, I like that we're at yet another boss that can three-shot us. <laughs> I really do not like the difficulty of this game. It just seems... Okay, so there's nothing else we could have done there. It just, just seems extremely arbitrary how much damage you take. Like, again, we went from taking 50 damage at the beginning of the dungeon to 20 to suddenly back up to 50. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't... Even in the o even in its own dungeon, the damage does not make a lot of sense on how wildly it varies. I could not disagree with the game philosophy more with how they've done it. Okay, so that'll bring us back here. Alright, so... I'm just going to make sure to heal. I just got unlucky with some of the timing. Double checking if anything's over here. Doesn't look like that's the case. I would like to hit this thing to kill it for XP. Let's see what happens. These become targetable. There we go. Do we have level 20? Alright. So I think we can all agree that should, that should make life a little easier. Because the XP, as I said before, was fine. I didn't mind grinding a little bit. And I feel like that wasn't an atrocious grind. Because I do feel like we were underleveled, for sure. Like, we should not be taking 88 damage from a boss. But again, like, even if I had gotten, like, 10 more levels, unless defense really scales hard, like, taking 85 instead of 88 is not that exciting to me. I'm more excited about the damage we could deal. Because we've seen that uh, weapon weakness matters, so if we have to downgrade our weapon, we might be screwed. Like, that six points of damage apparently is the difference between doing 5 and 54, for some reason. So we'll kill these, because they're not too bad. Oh. Oh, just... These enemies are so annoying. They're not worth fighting, that's the worst part. They just take so long to kill, and I can't dash attack through them. Okay, so I don't need to do anything here. I can check to see if there's items over here, but I doubt there is. Just horrendous monsters. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, so we're just gonna do the same thing as they did before. Try our best to avoid the eyeballs. I'm gonna use the small herbs, because I don't have- I don't think I need healing in the rest of that other fight. Nice double hit, actually. We just paid for all the small herbs I'm about to use anyway. I think that's fair. <sighs> Did not want to get poisoned. I really look forward to if we could get immunities to these things, because I find the status ailments in this game absolutely atrocious. They're some of the worst I've ever seen in any video game. I feel like that's not an understatement. Their version of Confuse is one of the most horrific things I've ever experienced, where it rotates the confused direction every several seconds. Ugh. <laughs> right, Chad? Just, ugh. Gross. Anyway, let's heal up a little. I 
I wouldn't put myself out of the I get hit twice, I die range. I'll use one medium bulb to finish things off. It's fine. Alright, so the boss fight is easy. I only died because I wasn't paying attention to HP. To be fair, I got hit basically twice and died. What happens if you go to the right? What is the difference here? Does this lead to any items? I'm just curious. Mm hmm. Oh, so this is a faster way through the maze. Okay. That's fair, I guess. Alright, so let's go ahead and equip. So yeah, this is not the worst. I will say, this boss is an improvement over the other BS that we fought. I still don't really like it that much, but, you know, it's... It's passable. I'll give this one, like, a D. How's that, Chad? It doesn't get an F, like some of the other bosses. It's it's not the doll, and it's not the fish. But it's not the most exciting thing ever, either. So it's like, you can just do this over and over. I just want to showcase, like, I don't... I should not really get hit here if I iframe it. Just this last starfish in particular is more annoying to hit than it should be. So I'm not really sure why that is. <sighs> I didn't get the dash. There we go. I swear if this cutscene attacks me, I'm gonna get so pet I'm gonna get pissed off. <laughs> uh music, you okay there? Why, why why was there like a 30 second delay? What what is this? Episode 2 PSO? What was that lag on the raft? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I, I sorry chat, I didn't realize we we're fighting Barbara Ray. Defeated Hidden Duran. Gossi looks intently at Arkra. Arkra tamed Hornpin. Okay. Hmm. I don't understand your language, but I guess you want to help me. What? Where are you taking me now? Yahoo! I'm saved! No idea who you are, but thank you. I'm Will. Ever since I was a kid, I studied flying free as a bird. I finally made it. My dream machine called an airplane. But only on my test- but, excuse me, but on my test flight, I crashed into the Great Lakes. It was attacked by these strange beasts like starfish. A huge dragon suddenly appeared and shielded me. The Lake God really existed. I want to repay you so you- so you- so come with me, I have something I want to show you. Okay. So, you were friends with- oh, you were Perel's friend. No one was hurt, but I can't go on. Can't get the parts anymore. Lon Trade and Yonko began buying metal for the parts. I scraped together the last few parts to make that plane. Ugh. Until the price of metal comes down, I'm stuck. I'm going to stay here and help Will. Please tell Perel when you see him. Okay. So now we know we have to go back to China. I'm gonna give the kids a dream and dream of flying free in the sky. That's why I have to keep working. But to be stalled like this. Okay. So, he will build the airplane eventually, but we need to do something in China first. Alright, so we have some economic growth going here, but they're telling us that things have stagnated for the time being. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's the headbob guy. Saw something while working, something flashed in the sky, spewing smoke, it fell towards the lake. Yeah, that was the thing from earlier. Hmm. Uh, is there anything else to do? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh no, the burger inventor. Yeah, yeah, we know about deadly poison. A very annoying mechanic, thank you. That that was so I guess we can't inform her about service being dead question mark He just kind of ghosted away. I, I guess we'll just not need to talk to anybody about that plot point <laughs> He's like bye. I'm done with the plot <laughs> Hmm Hmm. I'm gonna see if there's anything else we could do before we go further. Yeah, yeah, there's the person that I wanted to find out about mermaids. Nothing new there. Uh. This was the couple. I doubt I need to do anything with them again. But if there's nobody to talk to here, I think I'll just move on. Did you need me to do anything? Alright, Burger Guy doesn't have anything new to add. Hmm. Ah. Right. So nothing to do for now. <laughs> Back to China, brace itself. Kind of, yeah. So we hit some very lopsided difficulty, but that, that's Terranigma before you. We went from doing 2 damage to 50 damage to taking 80 damage down to 83-ish. So maybe maybe defense is scaled heavily because we only went up one level, but we reduced, I think, 5 damage with only 2 defense up. So maybe, maybe the stats matter a little more than they look numerically. Out of curiosity, how much do we need to level again? 2916. I mean, the flowers weren't, like, the worst thing ever to farm. If we do need to level, like, we're gonna hopefully find something worth a little bit more XP, but us getting two levels there, I think, is huge. Uh, well, I guess we just sail on. I don't have anything else to do. So for now, let's chase the plot. I'm gonna go to the east here, and we could check on Litz to see if it upgraded at all. Mmm, doesn't look like it did. Yeah, it looks about the same. Not sure what else he wants. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is so stupid. Hold on. I think I know what to do. So I think we do have to give the tin sardines to somebody. This is so annoying. Let's give them to the food person that we were in with. We're at it, freedom. Fortunately, it's not a big sale backwards, but. Yeah, so it's not going to grow until we give out the sardines. Since I apparently it's not considered a key. In, yeah, well, let's go back to Soma. So maybe maybe it was a hint that we needed to do something with that. I thought it just didn't update in general. Uh, where was Stoma's house? Alright, let's get this out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna give them the sample. We're gonna say it's tin sardines from Litz. Tinned? I don't know about that cooking method. Well, let me try. Akra handed tin sardines to Stoma. Hmm. The appearance is extremely appealing. Pass. 
10 sardines are appealing. Are we sure he's a gourmet? <laughs> are we sure? Romo's, oh, Romo's also not unpleasant. Have you, have you smelled sardines? No. Chomp chew, Chad, apparently. Apparently it tastes great. I, I think we poisoned him earlier. I'm, I'm convinced we gave, yeah, he just ate basically right out of the, right out of the tin sardines. I think we should uh, not trust his taste, chat. It's pretty gross. Chat thinks his senses are whack. Yeah, that, that's a good description. Pretty whack. What a disgusting individual. We need to force the retirement. That's fair. Okay, now let's see if doing this has enabled the town to grow. Still looks about the same size. Maybe we have to talk to them to inform them about it. I, I think I did that with the painting, for example. So it's possible the quest line is not completed. Hopefully I didn't miss anything else in the other town. But they, they mentioned cultural growth, so I'm assuming that we're done for now. Well, believe this. Prince, I gave you some tin sardines. I've been getting orders upon orders for them. I can't keep up alone. I'm going to my neighbors to help now. Right, are you going to say something different this time? There's no local under... Nope, you're still saying the same things. As such, the village is not possible. But the growth index is at 100%. Shut up, Kynes. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right, chat? It can't grow here. It has a 100% chance of growing. I'm like, wait. That doesn't... That doesn't check out? Well, time to take photos of the new area again, I guess. Uh, or not. Uh, let's see if Laura needs to learn about Australia. Sure, let's hear a song. Here we go, chat. Let's see if I got my three gems worth. You be the judge. We can move. <clears> hmm. <throat> Should go to the Magic Rock place. Oh, my bad. Fortune tellers. You should be the merch. Oh, never mind. You're the Magic Rock. Um. I want like a million grass pins, I'll be real with you. I'll take a couple fire rings just because... Another pyro ring. Is there any other cure ones I can get while I'm here? Yeah, let's get two cures. I think that'll be pretty safe. So we basically just bought a lot of healing. It's already longer and more complex than Fruity or New York Jazz. Truth. There's all these signs, but I can't interact with them. So her shop's going under because she won't sell to people. And all the people working under her have left. So I think we saw the evolution there. The winery got upgraded quite significantly. So I guess this is the upgraded location?
So, mission complete? Question mark? With lore? Mifta apartment. Mifta? I, the mother apparently died. With grandma gone, the house feels bigger and emptier, lonelier. Well, apparently the person hallucinating about the uh, Princess L is dead. <laughs> There's their plot progression. I didn't realize there were many uh, plot threads with these characters. I'm Mifta. I own this apartment building. We're running this building. I had a terrible, terrible job. As if I can never go without a hat. Yeah, it is kind of annoying they reuse this sprite for other characters. Let's talk about hair in front of Papa. Okay. Also, I love they have the telephone already, by the way, in their apartment. Potentially before it was invented, question mark. Unless that's just an electric grid or something weird. But again, that was before electricity was invented, so take your pick, honestly, with what invention they have they shouldn't have. Hmm. So, I guess in some ways we've upgraded the city. Uh, so nothing, nothing pertinent to the plot is being spoken about. They're mostly just saying things like, I like living here, or what a great view from my balcony. Yeah, like, this is clearly way more upgraded than everything else, like the street lamps, for example. Um... Quality homes and real estate, lower royalty. Quality first, price second, Michelle Furniture. So, she won't give us furniture because we're not a homeowner. Maybe we have to buy furniture later? I don't know if that'll be relevant, to be honest. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm looking for a home. How much does one cost? Let's see, we have apartments at 800 gems. What do you think? Oh. Sure? Okay, let's do it, I'm buying. That deal's done, here's the apartment key. Akritam apartment key. Oh. Just bought my own apartment, chat. Look at me moving up in the world. Room is Rococo Apartment 101. Oh, Rococo. I'm pretty sure that is a reference to uh, Robo Trek. Maybe we'll do that game one day. The combat is a little repetitive in it. Maybe. I'll think about it. It's it's easy to speed run the game, <laughs> in the sense that there's not really like complicated routing, and Builds in that game are very simple. It's basically oops all power. I'll think about it. It's a game I've beaten a couple times before, but that was mostly because I was bored. I'm not gonna call it like game of the year or anything. But eventually, essentially you played as like a young inventor and the whole point was to combine different items and you did stuff. As you slowly basically fought an evil scientist, I guess is the best way to summarize the plot. And you fight not by doing hand-to-hand -hand combat or whatever, but you so you create robots. So I feel like if nothing else, chat would love naming the robots. Because you can have like a little army of robots defend you. Spec differently for like speed or like mobility or excuse me, mobility versus like damage versus defense. But uh, honestly, it's 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 all damage. <laughs> How you beat the game? Oops, all damage. Ignore every other stat. Yeah, you can name them and color them. So I, I feel like if nothing else, that would appeal to chat. It's not a super difficult game. There's a couple parts where like if you're doing like a real speed run, it could be kind of annoying. But like. We're going to do somewhat casual playthrough of the game, but I'm still going to be using speedrun strats. I just won't be doing things like combat XP manipulation or whatever. I'm not going to go to that level with some of it. But I feel mostly comfortable going start to finish. There's only a couple areas in the game I think I would maybe get lost in. But the overall plot I mostly remember. I'm also, if I, we do play that game, I'm going to look up if there's any secrets. I did find a couple on my own, like little Easter eggs, but I'm, you know, those are the kinds of things that are nice to point out in a playthrough. And given that I've already beaten the game before, I don't really care about looking stuff up for it. 
Oh, Marilys is here. So the clothing people did get their own store. Oh gosh. So I could buy all these other outfits, which I don't want to. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple, straightforward game. I did like the idea of, like, trying to combine different parts to, like, form new weapons for the robots, or, like, trying to come up with new invention ideas. Some of them locked by level. So, like, there's things you can find, but you might not know enough. Oh, there we go. Or, like... So, apparently, they just really don't want to know about Suncoast again. Rip Suncoast, apparently. So we'll see. It's it's not a super super long game. Terranigma will definitely be longer. I feel in the, like I feel like in the time that we would have taken to this point in Terranigma, we would be Robotrek. You would be reading the dialogue. It's not a long game. Uh is there anything else I want to do? I think the answer is not really. Yeah, you love the cat video. Yeah, you love their television in the world where electricity was just invented. Oh hey, the town upgraded. <laughs> We're gonna be like, shut up, kinds. <laughs> you see the church windows? It's called stained glass. Okay. Did any of you need the fever medicine, by the way? I've just been kind of holding it for a while. One medicine per person. They came here for the medicine from freedom. Small town that grew with its fisheries and cannery industry in the future, more affluent, affluent lifestyles will be desired. Oh, so it sounds like it hit max stage because he didn't mention it again. All right, so nothing is different here. We already know about the coming. Need more people helping. Thin sardines are packed in cartons and exported. Thin sardines have made Litz very famous. To think we are only a small, isolated fishing village. So it sounds like we're done with Litz. Lore, I think we were also done with. A quick booster? No, I don't want it. So, I guess Litz and Lore are done. Freedom, I think, needs an upgrade, but we can't do anything with it. Nur Lake, I couldn't tell. And Suncoast definitely had an upgrade. But I don't think any of the other locations can be upgraded. We'll go visit the church. Oh boy, they're talking about the, the town is a blessing from God. I was gonna say, they're, they're like... They're like five statements from JRPG disaster striking. I'm just saying, chat. That's how bad things happen. Oh no, not not Columbus. Don't remind me about Columbus. Uh, was there anything interesting in the merchant place now that it's upgraded? Oh yeah, I guess I could rebuy the small bulbs, because why not? It's only 80. Okay, nothing interesting there. Silver armor is still a straight downgrade. Anyway, nothing of interest here. So, so far, to be honest with you, none of the town upgrades have yielded anything of interest or of use. So they seem like a very unimportant mechanic in the game. I'm just gonna call it what it is. We have not really received anything for doing these things. Like, we got very minor amounts of cash. End of statement. Like, otherwise, like, every time we've upgraded a merchant, it's always been way worse than what we already have. So, like, why would I buy anything there? The only thing that was, like, kind of useful was upgrading the herb place to be more consistent with the healing items. But even then, it's not like we can't just go somewhere else and ignore that mechanic. So, so far, not impressed with the town building. I mean, it's interesting that they spent time changing how it looks. But again, we're kind of going into the, the big ongoing problem I have with this game where it's all about form over function. Like, I can do these things, 
But like, do they really ultimately help me with my with like the other components of the game? Like, do I feel that my character is more powerful or better prepared for other areas now that I did the town upgrades? And the answer is no. Just the blunt statement. Like, if they didn't include it in the game, I don't think the difficulty would be very changed, if at all. I think that's where when we look at games like Rune Factory games, for example, where everything is just so well integrated with itself, it kind of sticks out when games don't quite th get the formula right. Like, it's very interesting in concept, and like having more lore for the NPCs is nice. But... <laughs> But, they could do a little better. Like, like, give a- let's give a counterpoint. If every time we finish these quests we got stat-ups, my opinion would change. And you wouldn't cha you wouldn't have to change anything else about it, but if they consistently gave stat increases on top of everything else that they did, then it would make sense. Uh, where was the place we had to go? Is it you? They mentioned this guy by name. Talk to you. Nope, he still doesn't want to talk to us. Okay, well, guess we got to figure out what to do. Hmm. So he doesn't want to talk to anybody. Is there somebody in here he wants to talk to? Oh, did we talk to uh, the, the awful parents? I don't think we did. What? You know a child named Chija? What? A nomad village? That girl, she may be our daughter. We'll depart right away to confirm this. I heard my daughter. Chicha's alive? Oh. Oh, dear lord, thank you. Hmm. Is there anything I haven't done? Is there somebody in, like, a hotel I need to talk to? Oh, somebody's sick in bed. I don't think I talked to them last time. Sick man came here. This this room is for ladies. It's pretty traveler. She suddenly got very sick. Slept a long time. Even the best doctor in town could not make her healthy, poor lady. I will protect L. Even if I die. Okay. You just want the fever medicine I've been holding on to? No? tried hmm well I'll save again because why not was there a doctor here I feel like talking to the fortune teller. I meant to see, were there any interesting ring choices here? A sky ring we don't have? I think our healing is mostly solid for the boss fight, and we're ready for any kind of dungeon exploration, but we just need to figure out how to advance the plot. I doubt anything updated here. Also, I love that they have televisions, by the way, where electricity was invented after that, somehow. Let's not think about it too hard. Who are you? Hmm. Oh, he's talking about the speed shoes again, never mind. Hmm. <laughs> Classic Terranigma. You know vaguely what the game wants you to do, but you have no idea where to go to do it. 
Like that one-off statement of the metal prices. I'm doing all this to get metal from Yans. Okay, we're at medicine. Let's talk to the doctor. Your friend with the sick lady at the end, she is suffering. She has fever and nightmares. She cannot escape her nightmares. Herbal medicine called ginseng could end the could end your friend's nightmares. Lon Trading sells ginseng or used to sell ginseng before. Now Lon went out of business. No more ginseng. I need some too. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not reading the dialogue as written, as I said before. I am very disappointed in Teradigma. I will try to translate their dialogue. <laughs> I know, big sigh. Let's ask him about ginseng. The doctor told me you had an herb called ginseng. My friend is ill and needs it. Can you sell some? I don't have business anymore. You go away now. Ah, uh, wait. Maybe ginseng could be available. You want to make a deal? Sure. Deal? What do you mean by deal? The younger brother, Wong. We run this business... We ran this business together before. Is he imprisoned in the castle? But Wong, he left town one day. Nobody knows where he went. Somebody bought Dragoon Castle. I think it was Wong. But I also heard not great things about it. I hear that he keeps buying up many things and keeping them at the castle. I have a bad feeling Wong is involved in bad business. Okay. I'm gonna give you some ginseng. You check on Wong. If Wong does bad things, or is doing bad things, I want you to stop him. Will you do this for me? We'll say sure. Ramps, you, sh you sure care about your brother. Go check on him. You'll do that? You're a good man. This is ginseng. It'll work for any disease. Give it to your friend right away. Akra tame ginseng. Okay, we're, we're slowly following the plot thread. Yeah, like, think about, like, the quest progression. Just compare it, not even to other SNES games, which I honestly think is fair game. Just compare it to, like, Illusion of Gaia or, like, Soul Blazer. There are a lot of random people we have to kind of talk to to advance the plot, and if we miss one line of dialogue, we are so screwed with the plot. Like, I know there's a fortune teller here and there, but like... Like, there wasn't- like, we knew we had to talk to this guy in order to get metal, but like, there's no indication we had to go to the inn to then talk to that person. Do you know what I mean? Like, we just kind of have to wander around aimlessly until the plot happens. Like, these things are not directly connected with each other. They are connected in the sense that it will advance the plot, but it's not as straightforward as you think it would be. So now I really don't know what to do with this fever medicine. I still have it, though. What did you do with the skin sink? Better ask the doctor. Oh, I didn't give it to the doctor. Just of course. Uh, of course. I love that we're told to give it to her right away, and then immediately we're like, no, you gotta talk to the doctor. Take my head chat. Classic Terranigma. Oh, you got some ginseng. Make, make the sick person at the end drink this, but be careful. It's no good to just drink ginseng. You have to get rid of the cause of the bad dreams, too. You try hard. Oof. Big oof chat to the dialogue right now. <laughs> chat, am I allowed to nominate this game for worst year of worst game of 2023 and worst game of 2024? Can this at least be honorary worst game of the year? Because it's going to be really hard to top this. Chaos Fanny says we do be trying. So, uh, something else. I, I deserve honorary nomination at this point. What did the doc say now? He said make her drink the ginseng and remove the nightmare's cause. Nightmare's cause? How do I get rid of that? What to do? Um... Just 
Give her the ginseng anyway. Have to do something. She's really suffering. Arco made Fida drink the ginseng. And look, it's the murder house. Your Highness, we found no trace of a treasure here. Enough! But there is a treasure in this village for certain. The village had a daughter. Find her and take her to the castle. Vida, I am merciful. Let us give a chance to the village head. Inquire the whereabouts of the treasure. If they refuse to comply, kill them yourself. The others shall be killed by our men. Your Highness! They are nothing but innocent villagers! But they're not even worth XP. Oh, Fida. You disagree with me, then? You cannot refuse me, who has raised an orphan like you. Now, go! Total surrender or death. <laughs> yeah, I'm merciful. Kill them, exactly. Interesting their chests were open. I... I came to... Elle's mother says, I understand. Do not look so stricken. As guardians of the treasure, we sealed ourselves to this fate. We cannot reveal the treasure's location, even if... even for our lives. Elle's father says, Hurry! Execute us now, lest they turn on you. But, we have but one request. Our daughter, Elle, we beg that you protect her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't save you. I'm sorry. But I promise I will always protect your daughter, even with my life. Are we witnessing her dreams? Like, we as the audience are, but are we as the character witnessing the dreams? You know, Arkra, I killed the princess's father and mother. Oh, are we just randomly dream diving? Did I miss something, chat? When was this an established power for us, by the way? We went into, like, the, the confusing hallucination when we showed the painting at the king's place. But I thought that was just due to magic, and that was explained, but I, I guess we saw this? Um... I killed the princess's father and mother. I am the cause of all of her miseries. The plot allowed us? That's fine. I can never escape this curse of guilt. You must think me vicious. I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to dot 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 her chat. The temptation is there. You know what, chat? I'm gonna let you decide. Do we go with the dot dot dot? I'm already seeing the dot dot dots. Do we go with the dot dot dots or that's not true? I'm feeling Chaosvania has voted for the group. We're gonna see if there's any dissension or if we're gonna get a string of dot dot dots. <laughs> no. Two people in agreement. Dot 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 time. Silence could be the clearest answer. I wonder if I is still assailed by nightmares. Wait, am I gonna have to sit through this again? Wait. Wait, no, 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 it's the same cutscene, come on, no, <laughs> no, but why though? <laughs> Terra Enigma, <laughs> why? Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> like, do you see what I'm talking about, chat? I, I don't feel like they play tested this game. I, I stuff it. like this I drives me wild. <laughs> Why am I stuck in like this entire cutscene again? Do I literally have to select the other option now to advance the plot? I'm scared to talk to her again. Okay, as soon as I get a chance, I'm running out of here. I mean, just like look how much dialogue we have to sit through again, and we gotta wait for them to move and stuff. Oh my gosh. Playtesting, please. Please play test your games. I have to say this is a new one. Is this the first SNES game where I could repeat an entire cutscene verbatim? I feel like the answer to that question is yes. I can't think of anything on the SNES specifically that made you sit through the whole damn cutscene again. <laughs> Please. I, yeah, I know, Arkra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did this. Yada, yada. Groundhog's Day. Blah, blah, blah. Listen. Fine, we'll say that's not true. You protected Elle just like you promised. That does not absolve me of my crimes. So what? So you're gonna quit protecting Elle? Get it together. If you don't protect Elle, who will? Arkra. Princess. Okay, see, so, so dot 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 was okay. So it was a it was another false choice. It didn't advance the plot, and we did have to do the other option. <laughs> Game, please. Why include it then? Dragoon Castle must hurry. Please let me leave. There we go. Wow, I was stuck in the cutscene for a while. Okay, I'm saving specifically so I don't have to sit through that, like, two and a half minute long cutscene. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna pass on that. Oh, you weren't here before. How did you get here? Wait, like, China and the US are, like, nowhere near each other. I have an honest question. <laughs> hey, there you are. I was looking for you. Nina told me you helped Will. He went to Yunko looking for airplane parts for Will. That's great of you. So I decided I'll join you and help you. So you discover anything? I guess I'll just lie to him. I discovered that Lon's brother Wong is buying up certain materials. He used to be involved some sa shady things at Dragoon Castle. I heard that too. That guy who bought the castle. <laughs> you can feel my spine tingling. Now I know something's up. Yo, bro. Let's hit the castle. Full frontal assault. <laughs> the tumble out of there. What the heck is that? Oh boy. Phew! This is Dragoon Castle. Would you look at that? No time for gawking. Let's get a move on. Ready, bro? While well, I attract some attention, you slip inside the castle. Ready? Let's go! Oh no. No, they wouldn't dare. Oh no, they wouldn't dare. D don't you don't you dare make I swear if this is a stealth section. Don't you dare make this a stealth section. I swear to Air Enigma, I will actually I will put the controller down if this ends up being a stealth section. I'm gonna put the controller down, chat. This better be nor Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get out oh, chat, we're on break. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Listen, listen, I'm gonna take like a three minute break. I'm gonna go collect myself. I can't believe they did a stealth section of of all the things they could have done. Why? <laughs> Why? There's so many poorly implemented things. Did they hit every checkbox? I can't believe this. Chad, I'm going on break. <laughs> Be right back. I need something to feel better about the playthrough. Ridiculous. All right, Chan, I'm back. I got chocolate, amongst other things. <laughs> I needed something to balance out the, the bitterness that I'm going to feel. So let me get this straight. Somehow, somehow the, the, the basically racist town wasn't bad enough. 
They're like, you know what? You know what we haven't done in a video game? A stealth section. Doesn't everybody that plays action video games just love stealth sections? Clearly, they're the most tested and uh, best parts of every video game they appear in, and are definitely not infamous for being the worst things ever. And definitely with the company coding so far, truly this will not be an, un an insufferable train wreck. Oh boy, how many times am I going to restart this section is the question. So, I'm so pissed off. <laughs> it's like... You can't you can't do anything other than laugh at it. It's like it is literally like every every possible checklist item and how not to do a game. It's like actually fascinating. It's fascinating to me. I think this is what happens. I guess the best way to describe this game is like you have this grand vision for a game, but you can't execute it. You needed somebody to either say no or you needed somebody that had like real impressive understanding of what it is to be a video game player, not a developer, a player, because I can guarantee you if they had polled anybody else outside their office, there is no way people would have voted for a cell section in an action game. I don't believe it. I, I do not believe it. These are the things that we're talking about, Chad. When we talk about, like, mistakes in video games, like, remember this Asteria stealth section, how garbage that was? It's like, it's one thing if you advertise your game as a stealth game, like, you know, you can have stealth in things like Tom Clancy or your Metal Gears, and that's fine, but it shouldn't then just turn into, like, the equivalency of a beat-em-up halfway through the game as well like you're going in with the mindset that this is the game that you're willing to play there are some games that you could forego the stealth elements and that's fine this is a mandatory stealth section these are not fun these are usually the worst sections of every video game known to man and uh yeah let's get ready for some garbage Cool. I don't know if they see up this flight of stairs or not. Wait, is there nothing in here? Seriously? Just big oof, chat. Big, big oof. I'm destroying all their pots out of pure annoyance at this section. Now there's a door down there. Can't do anything over here. Okay. Wow, that... That was kind of unfair. It was like right around the corner. I love the, I love that they could see beyond halfway of the screen, but I couldn't see them until I was literally on it. Wow. Like, hold on a second. Yeah, like, yeah, they do just instantly turn as well. It's not like they gradually turn. Wow. Well, that's so fast. What the <laughs> Helicoptering. What the heck was that? What was that? He was like, wee! <laughs> oh. Fair Enigma, please. Alright, so presumably I gotta wait for him to do something. I'm gonna walk and not run. Oh! Almost failed instantly. Cool. <laughs> this is the worst. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna slowly... Oh, I ran. I didn't mean to run. Okay, we're here. Please don't see me. I swear if he looks at me. Come on, come on. What was that? Okay, chat, there is literally nothing I could have done. There's nothing I could have done. 
That was actual just nonsense. <laughs> he looked right at me. What was I supposed to do? Wow. Oh my gosh, what were they thinking? I'm just kidding, they weren't thinking. Can I get by that? No. He can see behind him though. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be here a while, chat. This is just actually some BS. So we gotta wait for him to look down and then we go up, I think. I forgot you can run by double tapping, to be honest with you. I also don't like that I basically, like they're literally halfway up the screen. So if I can't, it's like to even see like a pixel of them puts me almost in the line of vision. Do you see what I mean? Like they almost caught me when I'm just trying to see where they're looking. Oh my gosh, why did they do this? Oh. There's the helicopter, chat. You ready for the helicopter? He was like, "Wee!" I'm gonna be real with you, chat. This might be the first time in a while I might actually just abuse the safe state. I don't feel like waiting this long. I'm gonna do a safety safe state right here. I'm gonna spare you waiting for me to do this on another try when the enemy arbitrarily spins and looks down one of these corridors. I'd like to at least get to this room again without sitting and waiting for like 10 seconds. I have, I respect your time, Chad. I will try to respect your time by just saying no to this BS. So we're also just gonna save here because I'm curious about something. All right, so he, he does prevent you from doing it instantly. So curiosity, let's rewind time a little bit. I don't feel bad about this at all. Can you squeeze by him this way? Oh, you can. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, chat, let's learn. So if you were following along, he, we know he looks at the left corridor. Does he whip to the right? Ah, uh, so that would have been the strategy. We're skipping like 20 minutes of BS. I'm just letting you know, chat. I, I have my limitations of patience with the stealth mini game. And then you put a, you put a platforming section in your stealth section. I hate you so much. <laughs> I hate you so much, Darren Igma. <laughs> All right, we're, we respected your time, I feel. Okay, let's continue onwards. Can't go through here. There's a magic rock. I'll just pick it up. Uh, I see what looks like progress. Was there anything up there that I missed? Let's take a look. Yeah, the instant turning is pretty BS. Uh, so if there's a treasure chest here, let's go grab it. I missed my jump. That sucked. There is. I don't seem to be taking damage, I don't think. Oh no, I'm taking damage. All that for 200 gems? Okay, that was actually not worth it. Actually not worth At least I'm not falling to the previous floor. That is true. I didn't even consider that. Okay, we see two treasures there. Will there randomly be a guard to punish us is the question. I, I just don't trust the game. I'm expecting some BS like I go to go here and you just see the light hit you and you just fail instantly. No? Okay, that was merciful of the game. Another large ball that I don't need right now. Uh, more gems, but they're not worth as much as exploring was. So large healing and gems, that's okay. I, I can live with that. That's an okay reward. I'm gonna go slow here. Just in case there's some VS stealth section again. Hmm, there's water over there. There's a door there. Let's, I guess, take the door. Hmm. 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 I'm overloaded, but he didn't tell me what he was overloaded on. 
Did you notice that, Chad? Well, it can't it can't be weapons. Am I overloaded on armor? No. Oh, Terranigma, you have to let me What am I overloaded on, Terranigma? I have space. It, am I out of herb space? Is it a small bulb? Or is it a large bulb? I can't believe they even got ran out of space wrong. So I'm just gonna heal now. I don't think I'm at nine of anything else. Thanks, game, for not clarifying what it is. Is it just me? Like, I just don't even know what to say. It just, I clearly have space. I'm so confused. What is this item? I clearly have space. Is there something else I'm capped on that I'm not aware is a cap? Like, do I have too many holy waters? I will not consider it a spoiler if chat tells me what this item is, because the game the game won't tell me what this item is. <laughs> that you have permission to spoil this item, whatever it is. I clearly can't do anything with it for some reason. Hmm. What absolute madness. Hmm. Oh well. So I'm not really sure what they want. I don't think it could be a ring. I mean, I, it's the only other- I was just trying to think like outside the box. What else would they possibly grant me at this point that I would have possibly capped on? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but apparently I can't have it. What I will do is I'll get rid of one item from the item room, and I'll get rid of one weapon and armor, just to showcase that it's not this. Get rid of the log, because I don't need this anymore. So proof Chan, I got rid of something, and we'll even go into the weapon and armor, just to show how useless that description is. Let's go to... I don't know. against wolves. I guess I don't need Neofang at all, because it doesn't have any descriptor. Let's give it a Neofang. Actually, let's give it a Rock Spear. Apparently it's important, I can't get rid of that. Good to know. Um... I got rid of one armor, one item, one weapon, and I'll get rid of... I don't know, like the... Rags? I, I'm not getting rid of the armor I'm currently wearing, because that would be stupid. Get rid of leather as well. It is a weapon. But... But I have... But I have empty slots. Terranigma, did you not test the maximum number of weapons you can hold? Are these useless? John, I think that's a big facepalm moment. <laughs> like, what? Well, that's gonna be real annoying every time I have to check that. Also, it rearranged all my items slightly. I'll get rid of Hex Rod, I guess. Like, you just can't make this stuff up. Like, this game is not tested. It just, it just like, blows my mind. Well, anyway, we got a three-part rod, I guess.
So I'm assuming the speed shoes were mandatory here because they mentioned it before. But I don't see what I'd be doing with them still. Hmm. And again, these are all just assumptions. Like, they mentioned it was stolen from the castle arbitrarily from one other person. I found them before we got that hint. But I'm also not seeing what to do. Alright, so I'm going to check one more time through here, and if not, we're going to go backwards. So is there something... Do I have to equip them for them to work properly? Is it like a cutscene will happen? Do I need to bonk my big dumb head on something? Because <laughs> you can apparently equip it. Which is weird that these bottom slots aren't just like permanently equipped on top of that. Okay, there's like a torture chair. <laughs> They're like strap in prisoner. We're gonna make you play. <laughs> We're gonna make you suffer the most heinous thing imaginable. Here's a copy of Terranigma. <laughs> and the guy's like, no, I'll tell you anything, anything but that. Too late, chat. Nothing could save him. All right, so I can't jump in the water. What do you want me to do? <laughs> gonna shrug my shoulders, chat. Game design. I love not knowing where to go. Was there a hint that there was something I could have done somewhere else? Like, clearly we have to be able to do something. There's no way we just come here and then that's it. But like, what do we do is the question. Okay, there's two candles here. Is it not possible to walk on the thin steel in the poison lake room? I don't think so. Do I, like, run into this or something? No. wonder if we, like, open a passageway. I mean, I could go back to that area. It wouldn't let me cross. But maybe I wasn't aligned earlier. Let me check. We... Because we definitely can't go in the water. Try jumping into that a couple times. It's possible there's something I had to walk on. I was gonna go up but just before the guards. You're talking about move across the thin steel. No. If you mean to jump off, I can't jump off of those. Unless you mean this. Oh, I missed the magic rock. But I mean, this is not plot progression. Because it seems like I should be able to come out over there, but I can't. So there's still something else to do. So that's fair. Okay, let's go back upstairs. <clears throat> Paranigma. <laughs> All right, chat. Just, just fill the silence. Just say the game name. It's fine. <laughs> so we're looking for something to do. Presumably with speed shoes. Oh, do I really want to cross my way through there? Automatic. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Will this work now? Okay, so there is like a. So I was running before and hitting confirm just for chat clarity. So because I'm moving, it didn't activate the boots. 
I didn't realize you have to hold still and then it works. Got it. Okay. Misunderstanding of how the item works. Seems kind of dangerous. So we do just have kind of a charge move, but I don't know what this will do for us. And we can't seem to jump afterwards. I was just confirming there. We're locked into the run animation. Actually, it didn't look like we were injured. Maybe I was just injured from the previous dungeon. I guess it's possible we never healed after the other boss. So I can do this to run. Is there something I can bonk into? Legend of Zelda style. Hmm. I feel like we explored this area pretty well. The only other thing I can think of was there was the dead end room on the far left. Was the room I couldn't do anything in a plot room? I had to run into it like a big dummy. We have to take on the... The wall buster himself's logic. I'm assuming we still can't run off of there. So I'm just going to run into a couple things just to double check. But I think we have to take a different path. This might have all been just for items. Which is somewhat fair, I guess. Because we did get a weapon upgrade. That would potentially be optional. But now at least we have another long distance option. So presumably we can't bonk into these. Yeah, nothing really happens. Also, just making sure it's not something stupid like you bonk the wall. Okay. Hmm... Well... Hmm... Mm-hmm, <laughs> chat. I guess this was just all for items. I'm gonna go back up for now. I don't see anything else for me to possibly do. Hmm. So yeah, I just don't see anything to do. Is this something stupid, like, I just can't do anything because the plot didn't expect me to go to the right first? Like, we have to put ourselves in their shoes, and it's the shoes of somebody doing something incompetently. So, like, this looks like this should have been a passageway, right? So, do we have to wait for somebody to tell us that this is a doorway for us to actually use it? I'm thinking that's the case. Also, jumping from there was kind of annoying. Ooh, we're jumping diagonal. That's easier. Alright, let's get caught. And let's see if there's something I had to run into first. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that stealth detection? Excuse me. <laughs> what? How? How did... How is... How? <laughs> how? But how, chat? Actual, actual madness. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. Every time you think you've seen it all, it, it somehow improves, question mark? Okay, do I just... Okay, do I run into the wall here? No. No. Are there any other side passages that I'm missing? What do I do? At least we know how to navigate that other room. That's fine. Um, There's the door down there I never did anything with. Is it possible I had to go there first? <sighs> Annoying. Oh, he almost got me. Oh. Okay, we're out of there. We're out of there. Okay, that, that was good. I outplayed him, chat. Outplayed. 
Do I run into this wall? <sighs> Jeez, of course. Of course, Chad, I did Oh, <laughs> come on. Come on. Chad, I'm making a safety save. I'm not, I'm not going all the way back to the beginning. I I'm just not. I'm making a dash for it. Screw this. Oh my gosh. So there's a door back here. There's another door there. Oh, there's a guard there. So let's ignore that area for now. Let's go left first. Okay. Now we're on the other side of the prison that I was at earlier. So I understand where I am now. We could get the Majorock. Okay. Arkra, help. Help can't move. Help. Bye. <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> that seems like a you problem. <laughs> Why should we like you at all? <laughs> I was like, cool, we found the only important thing here, chat. So yeah, this is the other side of that prison. We... Fine. Okay, and then she became a skeleton. Do, do I jump in the hole? No. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we're just tripping. Oh! What? Why is she messing with us? You had that coming. That's what you get for fooling around. Feeling any remorse now? No. What? You self-centered little witch. Let me out right now. What? How dare you, says Malin. You're just uncaring, cold-blooded jerk. And by the way, I work for Mr. Wong. He gave me this order. Lose Arkra forever in this dark and cold dungeon. Arkra could just die and rot here. He'll make me feel better. Wow, she really is, like, the worst character ever. Eh, even a runt like that's a woman. Hell hath no fury. Instead of blathering, how about finding us a way out? Hey, keep cool. Keep it cool. Good things, right? Darn, useless twit. Why do I always have to take this? I don't know, that's a good question, Arkra. Darn it, I'm gonna sulk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. Our protagonist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> She's being mean to me. I'm going to sulk in the corner. Wong says, whew, finally caught up with you. I carelessly thought you were just a girl. You killed King Henry, then ran away. I looked hard for you, L of Storkholm. It's you. You killed my parents and everyone in the village. That's not true. It's Henry's job to collect information. He failed too. My job just is just delivering collected information and money. Jesus, dialogue chat. It's the same thing. I don't know who's behind you, but your people killed innocent people for your own ends. <laughs> Guilty or innocent, not does not matter. Whether it is necessary or not is. The problem. That day will come when only the necessary people will live forever. But why would you want to know about the treasure of some tiny village? Enough talking, young lady. Tell me honestly. 
think about it real good. It's better if you talk before you get hurt. Wow, chat, this is a painful retranslation. You, bodyguard. You keep watch over the girl. Wasn't that the guy that was trying to woo her before? I met you at Lore Castle. Okay, that was confirmation. You visited the king. You're a groom candidate. You were together with those men, weren't you? Who knows, says Royd. Just a drifter working for a fistful of gems. I don't enjoy hurting women. I'm feeling like the word butt is about to appear. You be still now. Oh, no. Hey, Arkra, cut your sulking already. Hurt something above. So what? What'll that do for us? I'm not gonna make it this time. Oh, I see. Well, if you so dearly love your present state, I shan't complain. Merely suggested we try something, hero, rather than moaning. Later. A sound, huh? Well, it's worth checking out. Is someone down there? <laughs> Nobody here, or yes, there is. We'll say yes, there is. Yeah, I'm Arkra. Who are you? Arkra? Really? It's me, Fida. I'll get you out. Just wait. Oh, she came here anyway, apparently. Chain has been lowered. Grab this chain and haul yourself up. It's not like you to be caught so easily. What happened? We'll just say Malin. No big deal. Just playing, this, playing with this self-centered brat for a bit. Fine. But why did you come? You knew what is dangerous here. Why did you come here? <laughs> Airplane parts? <laughs> I'm going to be real with you, chat. That option's real tempting, but I'll let you decide, chat. Did we come here to save the princess? Who, reminder... Basically, it was just really snobbish to us, and we never really established a reason why we like her other than she looks like the other person that we know. Or airplane parts, because the plot needs it. The parameter says we need the power of flight. You're right. For a friend, I guess. Need to get some airplane parts. He's dedicated his life to making airplanes. I want to help his dream. I heard the castle's owner has been buying up certain materials. I don't know why he's doing that or why he needs the princess, but I don't think these matters are entirely unrelated. I'm going to the castle's east side. You be careful. <laughs> that escalated quickly getting airplane parts. Yes, it did. Oh, so it just puts me down here. Is there anything even over here? No. Hmm. Now do we have to go to the right side? I think we do. They're gonna be like, look at this hidden passageway I found. Oh, we got caught instantly. 10 out of 10, chat. Woo! Great enemy placement number whatever. Don't you love that you can't immediately go back out through the door you're instantly caught? Clearly they play tested this game, chat. I don't know what you're talking about. Clearly they tested. Just actual BS shenanigans. Oh my gosh, is there really no other way to do this? To get through this quickly? Or do I have to wait like 10 seconds every time? Yeah, I'll check the number later. We'll, we'll clip the number accordingly. What BS? Oh my gosh, she I was just, just moving it slightly and he auto-ran. Man, why have double tap and a run button? Please pick one. Oh, he looks down twice. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, chat, we're gonna learn his pattern. Because I don't have a save state where I need to be now, which is very annoying. So you're gonna look down. You're gonna look right, th then you're gonna look left. No, you saw me even through the rotation. I was wondering if I could have scammed him. <sighs> this is so annoying. All right, we're gonna wait. This time I'm gonna wait longer. 
I was hoping we could just run by him, but... Like, there I might have been able... What is this? There I might have been able to run. Okay. So we gotta get past the helicopter guard. I'm gonna do another safety save so I don't have to do that again, because I find that very annoying and a big time waste. I forget if he turns around here or not. I think he turns around on the next one for sure. Yeah. Let's roll your eyes, chat. <laughs> they somehow found a way to make the, the dungeon movement as slow as the boss fights have been. I'm honestly impressed that they that they did this. They they weren't they weren't thinking there was enough stalling in this game. Okay, we're through now. I unfortunately got the run out when I didn't want it. Oh come on, come on, this sucks. This sucks, chat. Well, I guess we're advancing the plot now. Princess L is held in here. Please hurry and help her. Okay. Treasure chests are taken. Can't do anything with them. Nothing else is seemingly in the corners. Can't read anything on the bookshelves. I tried. Hope this one we can. It did look like a slightly different color. Written in this faded old book, close paths are to be opened by one's own feet and none other. Is that a hint that I'm supposed to use the speed shoes that I already had to use to get here? What's the point of that clue? Written in the faded old book, six, light six lights illuminate a new road. By losing six lights. laughs. You dummy, Arkra. Go for the same trick again. <laughs> In Arkra's heart exists two L's. Under and above ground. Uh-huh. Hey, Arkra. Which L do you really like, Arkra? Why do we even like the surface one? Arkra, don't get duped. This is a mirage. I know. Nightmares sneak into the gaps of people's hearts. Arkra, believe. Believe in your own strength to defeat nightmares. Okay. To fool people by showing mirages of L's staged misdeeds. Where are you? I know you're in this room. Show yourself. Why are you interfering? Who are you to Arkra? And who might you be? You appear to know Arkra, but why the torments? Pled my feelings. Pled my feelings? <laughs> what? Translation, are you feeling okay? I don't think people normally just shout pled my feelings. But who knows, maybe, maybe chat will just start spamming it now. I mean, it's certainly a sentence we've led into. Oh, trampled my feelings? Maybe. You should suffer, suffer, and suffer in the same way. But, like, why wouldn't they just put the whole word if they were translating it into the other text box? Yeah.
She got slapped. It's about time. You were hurt, so you returned the pain? You're a child. Should never be in love thinking that way. I made her cry. Nice. Big cry. Says who? Both you and Arkra could be erased by Wong. Complete my feelings, says chat. Some side trip. Let's go. Uh oh, you're just with me now? Okay. So let me get this straight. This was yet another dead end. I hate this castle so much. Entrance is sealed. It was open before. Malin, very good. The mouse. Oh, you caught the mouse. Mouse, you can chase them, but that is futile. It's time to finish this now. Maylin, I thank you, but you're no longer needed. Wait a second, Mr. Wong. What do you mean? You don't know. I do the same to you as you do to Arkra. He plans to kill us all in this room. Why? I worked hard for Mr. Wong. You don't understand, do you? The purely evil treat people like ants. Wah! I was stupid! I'm sorry, Arkra, Grandpa! Oh, I heard something. Smack the door, maybe? What's that sound? What is it next? Kaboom. Hey, hello, if it is an Arkra. Wait, how did he get in? Wait, how did a knight, a sorceress, and a warrior not open this door, but a kid on a skateboard did? I heard a girl crying, so I came over. Don't make the ladies cry. By the way, did you meet the guy that's buying up all the metal? I don't have time making girls cry. Let's get her job done and get out. This castle is great. Totally perfect for boarding. Yahoo! This makes no sense. You can get out, huh? I'll be scooting ahead. Arkra, you're gonna rescue the princess, aren't you? Check the wall opposite the unpaired statues. Behind is the room where the princess is held, but be careful. Roy, the bodyguard hired by Wong, is watching over her. Hmm. And I was wrong. Sorry. I don't know if he had explored. Listen, the game is. Listen, we're going full. Things are just happening with the plot. I don't think the plot is ever going to bother to explain what is happening. Like, I'll admit, thing the plot is. Ad oh, it does not like the diagonal jump. I got to do it this way. So the game does not like to explain things. It's it's doing the rule of cool versus like any logical sense whatsoever. So that's all we could really deal with it. That time we got caught. The skateboard is a stand, you're right. <sighs> Did I really do this in all the wrong order? Do we have to go to the west side now? Can we do something in here? So there's the six candles. Do I just do that to the- yeah I do. Stupid. So I wonder if I could have skipped half of the puzzles of this game by just doing this first. I didn't really try doing it, but I probably should have. I did think it was weird there was nothing we could do in this room. Okay. Hmm. So they mentioned something about unpaired statues. There was one statue that was below us that was unpaired. Hmm.
What's this? Looks like a switch. That's it. It's the unfair statue Mainland was talking about. I wonder what I should do. We're gonna not push it for a second. Is there anything on this side of the room I should be aware of before I go further? Okay, nothing over there. Hmm. Alright, fine. We'll put this we'll hit the switch. Alright, so presumably we just run through the hallway and then things will try to kill us as we go through. So we'll need speed shoes to get through it. I'm presuming it's gonna breathe flame as we go through following rule of cool, but maybe it won't do anything. No. Never mind. Just boring statues. Hmm. Well, that was easy. Wait, where's the bodyguard? Can't believe it. Imagine meeting you at a place like this. I didn't think I would ever see you again. But I always wanted to see you again. Is this a dream? Yeah, it's a nightmare, all right. Hey. He gets his own theme. Sorry, boy. I harbor no ill will, but this is my business. I always wanted to see how good you were. This is a good opportunity. No need, I shall be your opponent. Wow, we, we're not even allowed a boss fight. Arkra, get the princess out of this castle. What are you doing? Hurry! I'll take my time. Sorry, boy. Looks like our match will have to wait another day. Hurry! Take the princess to a safe place. Or I could just help you. I mean, if you die, Fida, this is now your fault. I mean, we could have 2v1'd him. I'm just saying... But anyway, time to run, I guess. Arkra, this way! Kick it past the guards with the princess, I know a hidden way. Don't worry, I won't dupe you again. Follow me! Is she gonna go left? I had a feeling. There's a drain up ahead. And Mr. Wong says it leads outside. Get in! I met you before. Was it Lore Castle? No. Even before that somewhere. It's an honor to have someone as beautiful as you remember me. The sword does not sit well with the beauty. Lay your weapon down. Enough blather. Draw your sword. And you wish to harm the princess answers to me. Let me ask you something. What compels you to fight so much? The girl is no longer a princess. She should be free to leave. I told you. Drifter like you would never understand. Someone to be protected exists. I fight for her. That's all. Someone to protect. Understood. Go, I won't stop you. What do you mean? Isn't it your job to kill us? I changed my mind. That's all. Now go. Protect your precious princess well. Arker, wait. I'm going to wait for Fida. Fida always cared about me. I can't leave her here. Can we knock her out and take her with us anyway? <laughs> okay, that was really funny. It took away control from me for a second and just slammed it to the wall. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Please go ahead. I will follow Fida. Bonk. I'm sorry, Arkra. I can't be a burden to you anymore. What is with all this weird burden comments that just kind of came out of nowhere? She said this once before, too, but I don't feel like it established any burden to us. There are many things I must do. Okay. Have your own adventure. I don't care about you anymore. Oh, uh... Oh no! 
My goodness, no! Dr. Baruga and Mosk finds out. He'll be super angry. Well, I guess we have to go to Mosk, whoever Dr. Baruga is. This whole game is a burden, you're not wrong. Roid, you can tell and dispose of those mice right now. Or maybe they mean rats. Maybe they mean rats. So, the mastermind is Baruga. Now we know the name. What are you saying? If you're not going to go now, you're fired. Wong, you could not you could have couldn't have not known. In that work you call preparation, many people have died. Among them, my closest friend. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. King Henry is already dead. It's just you and that Baruga you mentioned. No, no, stop! Don't be hasty! Okay. Cool story, bro. Anyway. Oh, that's not... Wait, what? So there's only that little tiny cat? What? My mind is like breaking right now. Seriously? That's the gap? What? what? <laughs> there is no way. Listen, listen, chat. Listen, listen. There is no way that was playtested. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be jumping, right? I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be able to just walk across it. I'm pretty sure they just forgot. I'm just like, I'm completely flabbergasted. Holy. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going, I guess. Well, Wait, Arkra! <laughs> They're in mad pursuit of Arkra's mirage. Hey, where's the princess? What do you... Didn't you see her? Not me. Thought she was you with you, Arkra. What? What? The castle! Of course the castle self-destructs for some reason. I, when, you heard it, chat. When the owner of a castle dies, it spontaneously combusts. Peril, or almost pearl? Dot 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 us. You're really all right. Didn't you die? Arkra's not gonna die that easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't, you say that now, Malin, but you didn't see that starfish boss. Whoa, are you all right? Aren't you hurt? Castle suddenly collapsed and we were shot up the drain. <laughs> Being shot up the drain, not pictured in this cutscene. Just trust us, Wink. We got out somehow, Wink. <laughs> Reminds me of like one of those jokes where I want to say it was like a really stupid movie, like Thumb Wars, where they're where they're making fun of uh, Star Wars specifically, and they go, "I escaped somehow. Let's go." It has that same amount of effort and quality in it because it's just this like, listen. We're gonna talk about this cool thing that happened off screen. You're just gonna have to trust us, bro. <laughs> right, chat? They couldn't have like this water graphic wash us out of the screen or anything. They couldn't like secret a mana launch us in the air. Just fade to black. We're here somehow. Let's go. Ah, oh, Air Enigma. I'm just. Every single time you find a new way to disappoint me. It's honestly impressive every time we play this game. It's just something else. Every single time. I mean, it's not even the same thing each time. It's something actually different. It's truly fantastic, chat. Yo, bro, you okay? I'm glad you're safe. Heard in town the price of metal's coming back down. To go all about Will. It's gonna get busy. You should come see Will, too. He'll be amazed at what he's making. Arkra, sorry, I did something terrible. But Arkra, you never gave up on me. You saved me. <laughs> we never gave up on her. What? Yo, is she is she the one having the dreams in the daytime? Like, when did we? Okay, okay. First of all, when did we forgive her? When did we take her with us willingly? What? I feel like this game is leaning on so much text that is not being said. You haven't come to hate me. Really? Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna roll my eyes on that one. That's good enough for now. Hey, I'm going back to Grandpa. Back to Lahasa. 
Arkra, come visit sometime, okay? She's beyond, she's delusional beyond all words. Yeah, that's true. Back to being alone. Wonder what happened to the princess and the lady knight. Oh yeah, metal prices are dropping. Should go to Nurlik. That airplane guy, he'll probably be happily back at work by now. Okay, so that was the game telling us what to do. I don't really want to do another dungeon, but I guess we could leave for now. I like how we weren't required to report on the brother, by the way, so mission failed on that one. <laughs> yeah, we checked on your castle. We kind of we kind of blew up his castle and he's probably dead. No need to say anything. I know my brother was doing bad things. Ergun Castle ate my brother as punishment for him doing bad things there. Oof, that was a terrible retranslation. I'm glad you stopped him from doing worse things. Oof, that was that was rough chat trying to retranslate the uh, offensive language. So anyway, let's go this way. I'm glad that that subplot was, hey, we'll help you out. And then like he's like, yeah, my brother's dead. <laughs> so basically, we just screwed him over for nothing. We didn't get a reward out of it either. Hmm. Let's get us a plane now. I'm thinking so. If it looks like it's going to a dungeon, we'll we'll go to it next time. It probably will lead basically straight to the boss that they just arbitrarily mentioned. Hmm. I'm thinking it was faster if I went up, because I just realized there's not like the Panama Canal where I could just slip in between conveniently. Oops. Oh well, we're taking the long way. So once the plane's developed, presumably that should advance the other town. We should be really close to being done with Suncoast. Let's hopefully get it get it now before anything happens like story wise and we'll check what this town needs again ha <laughs> ha listen Arkra it's finished my airplane metal became available again should never give up on my dreams Arkra should try flying on the runway plus the A button in flight plus L to descend R to ascend Y to accelerate land at any airfield fly low and press A Okay. Hmm. But this isn't telling us how to get the... How do we get the airfield plans if not from Will? See, so yeah, we're not done with this town for whatever reason. Hmm. Weird. So, if I try flying and coming back, will that enable me to get the airfield plans? Or is there something I don't know about? Oh. Okay. actually go into the house that's there though. 
so we have yet another mode of transportation. Oh, so that house doesn't do anything. It's just there for decoration. Freedom looks really big. Did it upgrade again? It went from, I think, uh, 2x2 two two to like a 3x2. I think it got bigger. Hmm. Jesus, let me talk to you. This is ridiculous. The town is so built up, there aren't many places to jog anymore. So maybe we're done with freedom? Let's take it easy, bro. Things will happen when they happen. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna try one thing. Maybe I have to just go back to Sun Coast again now that the airplane is built. Maybe I just jump the gun. So I definitely want to do this before we get further in the plot. In case you never know, we could get locked out. I'm not gonna put it past this game to just arbitrarily lock me out of something. As I said before, I feel like a couple places seem like they were going to be destroyed. So, it wouldn't surprise me. See Sweet it in two for lack of trust in things sticking around. So now I'm gonna go back to Suncoast. We're gonna check the index of Australia. And then, based off of that, hopefully make some progress. Oh, the port wasn't near the northern side. Oops. Maybe it would have been faster to stay to the south then. Because we need another airstrip. If we could get an airstrip to Australia, we can easily come back here and check on it later. So maybe one of these people will mention it. Because you talked about tourists. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Is it you? Are the flying machine that carry people if we had one? There we go. So I came here too early. Okay. All right, we came here too early. So now hopefully if we go back, we can get it done here and then Suncoast will be completed. I did try to tell them about Suncoast. I guess I could take another photo of them just in case. Because it was acting a bit weird. Like I hadn't taken a photo before. So I did try to at least promote tourism a little bit. So I only had three cities that seemed to work. I'm gonna hope that's good enough, question mark? Alright, so let's try this again. Since I'm already on the southern point, I might as well stick to the south. So we're gonna see if anything updates here. Freedom looks like it's max size. Lore, I think, is max size. Litz, I think, is also max size? So most of the major cities are done. It's more of a question of what photos do we need to give to Suncoast? Because we gave them three. Oops, I don't know why I went here. Actually, the Odo. Was the Odo on the list? I don't think it was. Let me take a photo of here just in case. Just in case, unless it's something stupid like it, it can only remember three locations at a time. Which again, I'm not gonna put it past this game of this being some arbitrary limitation that forces you to come back more than once. 
absolutely would believe it would do that. Given our, given our random weapon slots that are empty, but not empty. Not be surprised. Okay, so Nurlake, I think, still hasn't upgraded. Hmm. I don't know what they really want at this point. You gonna talk about the airplane plans now? Oh, hi, isn't air travel great? Been a favor to ask. If you know of what a town that wants air travel, give these air uh, plans to them. Even distance can be made accessible by air with airfields. Can you do this for me? Sure. Sure, I just take those airfield plans, right? You will? Thanks, I'm counting on you. Aqua Tame airfield plans. Okay. So, at least we could say that I've been trying to upgrade as much as possible. I think it's going mostly well. I think only Sun Coast is the questionable one of not being upgraded. So we'll go to Freedom and try to tell them about Sun Coast again. We've given the Tasty Meat away, so that's one quest. Airfield is probably two. Tourism might be the third. I forget what the tourism place here is. That is the downside, though. When the places do upgrade, it's like, oh gee, where, where are the things of interest? Hmm. I wasn't seeing any place that screamed tourism. Like, there's the hotel, but like... Hmm. There's the item shop. I mean, I guess I could check to see what it upgraded with. No. <laughs> the one touch of death regardless of boss, you're not wrong. Get one more M bulb. Well, that was a pretty useless shop upgrade. Thank you, game. Apparently, luck makes magic stronger. That's the first time I think that's been mentioned, and that's very late in the game to be telling me this, by the way. Thank you, game. I literally can't read what that. A thunder pike? White on white is hard to read. Light pike is more damage. Hmm. Do I pick this up for the elemental damage is what I'm asking myself. Hmm. Maybe? <sighs> it's not a big damage increase is the problem. Guess I'll buy it for now. I'm buying it not because of the stats, but because of the element. I think the element will help me. That's a brilliant glow with- Okay, so we have now a light element and a d weapon that raises defense. It's sad we can't get rid of the rock spear. We could get rid of sticker and probably the light rod at this point. So let's get rid of everything that's not an elemental so that way we can wield items. I'll hold the Cry Spear in case it turns out to be like a god item later, but Raw Spear I think we can safely junk at this point. So I think we have an okay selection of items for this. We'll go back to our armor briefly. Yeah, let's get rid of the low-end crap, like the clothes. We'll keep L cape in case we do need it for the end of the game or something weird. So again, I'm just doing that to give myself elemental options. I don't know if we'll use it at all. I'll keep the current one on for now until it feels like it's ineffective. Um, Let's see, how far do I think we could go before we hit a boss is the question. Hmm. Well, 
I mean, I was gonna stereotypically say the the boss is probably in Russia, but they kind of already told us that. So way way to conform. Oh, can we accelerate? I thought it said one of the buttons accelerated. Not seeing it. I could go up and down though. So can we do anything in Russia? Is the question. Because I'm hitting, I'm hitting Y. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, unless it's like a delay. Oh, it's a delay. Got it. So you gotta, okay, you gotta really hold it and then it'll boost. Got it, got it. Okay. Right. So I'm just looking to land anywhere where there's an airstrip, which is... I'm really sure, to be honest. So other than here, is there any other airstrip of the game? Did Australia get one? Not yet. So let's go deliver the, the plans, I guess. Alright, so it looks like there's only one airstrip at the moment. Let's go deliver the plans, and then what we're gonna do... It is really finicky. There we go. <laughs> like, eventually, when I'm hitting the descend button, it will descend. There we go. So let's go make sure Australia gets the plans. Then I can finally go to a port more easily. And that would save me some time in the future, potentially, if we got to go around to different places. Because I could go from that airport to Australia if I need to go near to China, for example. Or I can fly to America and go to America as needed. I prefer to have one in uh, Africa at some point, but... Probably not going to happen, given we haven't seen any chances to do so, at least. Also, chat, I would just like to point out one thing that I just find kind of funny and in going into the the game universe really does not work for me. Do you like that they just invented the airplane and there's already somebody with an airstrip on the other side of the world? I mean, these are the kinds of things that will take me out of your game universe, chat. Like, these are just like really basic statements of fact <laughs> where it just it doesn't quite work for me. So I'm not really feeling absorbed into this world when nonsense like that happens. It's not like a and then time passed or anything like that. It just, just there, there's your destination. Don't think about it too hard, pretty much. Apparently when something is invented, it's able to spawn randomly in the world, apparently. I think this is the right room, right? Consistency? Yeah, pretty much. I still never found out what to do with this fever medicine. If it's for a future plot point, we're well prepared at this point. Wait, why is he saying if... Did I not equip it? I'm so lost. But I did. Why won't you accept these plans? But, but, but you're the... Ugh. Yeah, I know you're holding meetings here. Hello? Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> it's not the guy that mentioned him we should give it. It's one of the other people at the table. Consistency. What? What? You can make places for flying machines to land with that? We're just discussing ways for attracting more people here. Hey, may we have those plans? Sure. <laughs> Terra Nigma, exactly. Sure, the guy who gave them to me wants to see more airfields built. Parker gave the air airfield plans away. This is great. With this, more people will be able to come here. Get the young folk together to make this airfield. Okay, now can I use the speed shoes to get the magic rock, maybe? Now that I realize it doesn't activate while moving. Feels kind of contrary to not... The speed shoes don't work if you're moving. Really? You can't even Legend of Zelda bonk that? Disappointing. Because I thought for sure we just had to build up enough speed. I mean, that's how you got the green book and Link to the Past. I'm just saying. <laughs> We're, I'm following SNES logic in my defense. Oh, well. 
Actually, where was the guy that was the economy thing? Was he over here? No. I want to. I want to see what he says about the growth index. Does chat remember where he is in Australia? Let me also save because we haven't done that in a while. So hopefully we don't get another light weapon soon. I don't mind getting other weapons. I just want to make sure our light option is there in case we deal with some BS later. So yeah, I have a feeling we're very close to a boss. But we'll stop a little before then. I want to at least check out the airstrip. I'd also like to say, chat, wow, chapter three is so long. What did it take? Like, barely four hours to leave a chapter? We're at four hours now, and I don't even feel we're at the end still. I feel like we have at least one more dungeon. Do you know what I mean? One day, we'll get better items at the shop. Uh... Nope. I thought he was here, unless I'm just misremembering. Hmm. What's the point of being separate? Chapter 3, 80% of the game. And then it'll be like chapter 4, end of the game. Or like, what happened, if, what happened to the numbers in between? So they're still saying they don't have enough information. Makes me a little confused. Like, what are they even looking for at this point? I feel like all the major cities we shared at this point... The stupid snow place doesn't have anything there. Hmm. Was he at the other room at the inn? I don't see him anywhere. Hmm. Again, I will not consider this a spoiler. Was he here, or was I hallucinating? Because it feels like we should be able to upgrade, even I just did that for at least the airstrip. I don't see him, like, outside a building. Hmm. He's not at the gift shop. He's not at the bottom left. Was there, like, another exit by, like, going up or something? Oh, right. What do you have to say about this? Town desire progress, extremely bad. They're attracting people are building sound name or such less town's economic growth is 40%. So I feel like I'm making progress. I just don't know what magic number I have to hit, like if it has to be 100 or not. So... Hmm... I'm gonna try one thing. To see if now that I took a picture of Sun Coast, if we could share it with Lore. And that's about it. Wait, did I go here? Yes. Should be the chest in the middle, right, that we couldn't reach before. Yeah. Alright, so let's get out of here. He bounced off the wall. <laughs> the the pathing direction failed me there, chat. Apparently, if you hold a direction against the wall, he'll potentially bounce. Which, I mean, it's fine. It was just funny that it put me right back in. So if I do this, for example, I can just hold down the whole time. It'll fix itself. So I feel like Suncoast is the only one we haven't seen upgrade at all. I feel like everything else that could have upgraded, we have now upgraded. So I think we're doing an okay job with that. And these places look like they're maxed already. So sorry about the small delay, just trying to get the towns to advance. So we'll do that, then we'll fly on the airstrip, and that'll be the last thing that we do. Actually, did Litz have a thing that we could do with them? 
don't think so. Might just be the major cities. Because he mentioned that it was done. There's no more econ there's no more growth. Just looking to see if there's a tourist place. Feels like the answer is no. Check once in this building just in case. Okay. The lore should have a, a place. The China should have a place. We tried taking pictures of that, but they didn't seem to want them for some reason. Which again, could be the limitation of three, where I just- that happened to be the third photo and I got cycled or something stupid. Would not put it past the game. Okay, where is the tourism place? Craftsman, we got all three shops there. Hmm. That's the inn. So all the major shops are easy to get to. Oh, I never tried finding my apartment. Should probably do that, actually. Got to do that, my bad. Uh, so we do have an apartment key. Well, so we should go inside. Use the apartment key. The lock opened. Home. Alright, so now presumably if we're bored, we could spend gems to upgrade it. But I've officially entered our apartment. And then I officially entered somebody else's apartment. So, I doubt the apartment building does anything, but at least we could say, I remember to go back to the apartment eventually. So worth it, chat. It's got nothing in there. We don't even have a bed. If we wanted to do the bed stuff, how much would that cost? I obviously am going to favor weapons and everything else before that. gems for a rug? Sure. If you buy the bookshelf, you'll get a teddy bear? Sure. Is that a nice dresser? 100 gems? Sure. If it's only 100, that's fine. I'm willing to spend like a thousand on this little th venture. Sure. Uh, so completing this was much easier than I thought. I'm assuming we don't have anything else we need to do here. So some of these, like, they exist, but I can't purchase them. So, for example, I tried getting these and nothing happened. So I think I just got all the furniture we can. So let's go see our new apartment, Chad. Oh, look at that. We created our own save point. Neat. Can we get free healing if we come here? Indeed. Look at that, chat. We got the free teddy bear. That is definitely an upgrade over what we had before. Okay, nothing special happens if we sleep at our home. Oh, OBS disconnected. Rip OBS. Fortunately, we're almost done, so I don't plan on going too much further. I'm just looking for the tourism place now. That's the winery. That's the other cut place. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll save that for next time, because I'm just not having any luck finding it. Unless it's this one. No, that's Marilee's. Oh, there it is. Do you want to see anything related to Suncoast? Let's find out together. Freedom. Narrow Lake. 
Suncoast, there we go. Finally. I think we just were capped at three and the game didn't tell us. Which means I probably have to then go to every single one again because I visited, I think, five locations that could have had photos. Talk about making things unnecessarily tedious. But at least we finally told somebody about Suncoast. Just making a note here. Hmm. Oops. Do anything with that. Okay. <laughs> Suncoast, we exist, pretty much. So I don't think there's anything else I could have done. So maybe if I go back to Freedom now, which I have to do anyway to advance the plot, I could tell them about it. Maybe I could tell China while I'm there. I really hope that that one house does not count as a town. I'd be pretty pissed off if it was, actually. So yeah, let's go to China now. Try to tell them about Suncoast. And we're going to see if that's good enough. And if not, we're just going to go to Freedom and tell them about Suncoast. And hopefully that'll be all the places we have to tell. Hmm... Let's see if they're interested now. At least I know the tourism place should be, like, up here somewhere. Oh, right. These are the people I don't think I could do the tourism stuff with it. Uh, maybe I can't do anything with them then. Never mind. I forgot. So we at least told one country about Australia. We did it, yay. So we have to go back to America regardless. I'm just looking to see if they built the airstrip, because that would really save me a lot of time. I really don't want to pilot the boat here if we don't have to again. Oh, they finally built it. Good. Good, 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 good. So that's, that's a good sign. So that means we probably just need to tell... I don't know. Who, who do they need to specifically know? Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. End of the world. The town didn't upgrade, but we did get the airstrip. Do I have to talk to the mayor again, maybe? They keep saying, like, that we haven't learned enough, and the problem is, like, I just need to know which ones they consider valid now that I know they can only hold three. Alright, so this, this is a good sign. They're thinking it's gonna make them more popular. It's 60%, so I'm making progress. I don't know if it has to hit literally 100 for it to work. So that tells me probably two towns need to know about it if every town is about 20%. So 
let's fly from here and then let's go back to freedom and let's tell them about the Sun Coast. Okay, slow down a little bit. Why does this thing never want to land? Game, please. So I was mashing that land button. I'm like, come on. It's also possible that maybe other places won't let me share information with them until they upgrade more. And they could make Australia the last to upgrade as like proof that you're done. Because outside of those two cities, I don't think any other place had a tourism place. So it's just these two specifically. The place in China has one, but they don't talk to us, so I don't think that counts. So we'll fly back to Australia, just to confirm. If it goes up by 10%, then we know that maybe Nurlake later on gets a bigger upgrade for them. We're gonna speed over here, since we have to go this way anyway. There we go. <laughs> I love that I have to go to the northern part of the airstrip and then the landing animation we have to go to the southern part. Oops. Okay. So I feel like I'm trying, but how much economic growth was it at? So it was 40% I think before the airstrip. I've told one other location about them. Is that gonna be 70%, 80% or nothing? Let's find out together. So I need to tell one more town about them, but I don't know which other one we could do. Litz doesn't have one. Can't go to the place in China for it. Hmm. So presumably there's just one town that hasn't heard about them. I'm just thinking about if it's worth checking for. I am almost done with the stream. Just wondering how much it's worth doing. Because I'm pretty sure there's nothing in Litz. I didn't see anything in Nurlake. We definitely did Freedom. We did Lore. Like, those are the only five major ones that I can think of. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to assume it doesn't matter for now. I don't think I'll bother trying off stream, but I... I don't see anything to the contrary so far. Let's go here. Unless I have to tell this little town about them, which I mean, I guess is possible. Please, please land. Thank you. Okay, so let's explore a little bit. If this counts as another town, maybe this will be the final one we have to tell about Sun Coast. Well, we're in Mosque. Let's not go here, because that's where the plot is. Uh, is there anything else to do before we do the plot? Hmm. Uh, 
evil lab. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe we do go to mosque. But we're going to explore for now. Check each of the forest tiles. Let's say we checked. I'm doing an okay job at checking. We're trying to get every single possible tile of forest just to make sure. Don't go in the center here. Nothing here. Check each of these again. Don't see anything here. Check along the edges. Don't see anything here. I see a cave. Go check the cave out. I don't trust the game. I'm taking the top top rope first. Okay. Oh, was there seriously nothing here? Wow, baited again. You got me, Terra Enigma. You got me. Real, real clever there. Okay, what's in the chest? Block rod. Please don't be light damage. You could be Earth. Earth is fine. Changes strength into defense. No. <laughs> right, chat? No. Oh, come on. Seriously? Come on, Arkra. Don't rob me like that. Well, I mean, I could very briefly look at Mosque, but I don't want to accidentally do anything too crazy. So yeah, maybe we'll investigate Moss, since it looks like the boss dungeon is just easily accessible. Let's see, is there anything else we should know about in Siberia? It's that ominously different color tile, but nothing to do with it. Hmm... Okay, it feels like there's a big old nothing in Siberia. I'll vaguely cover the center a little bit, but if there's something in here, you could keep it game. So you got Block Rod, which I don't think will be super useful, unless I really just want to tank a hit, which we shouldn't be tanking hits. One of the white spaces at an area that's awful, yeah. I'd, I vaguely check them. I don't feel like checking literally every tile there. Like, no thank you. Um, do one little quick check over here, just in case there's something in the forest. We'll check the southern tip, just to say we checked. Okay, so I don't see anything else. Oh, I can walk on that, I thought it was solid. Um, anything on any of the plateaus here? Not really. Well, I guess we'll go to Mosque. He is our savior, Baruga. Baruga is preparing to save this corrupted world. For more about Baruga, go to the Disciples' Quarters. You will come to understand Baruga's greatness. domicile with Baruga's picture up there. You see Baruga's word, we're gonna say yes. Enter the back room, a disciple will educate you. Sure. Baruga once won a Nobel Peace Prize for new biotechnology theories. Wait, we're at biotechnology and they just invented electricity? I feel like we're skipping a few steps here. He perfected DNA engineering to fully cure recurring diseases. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Uh, indeed, chat. Since then, he has dedicated himself to the study of immortality. All humans shun silence and fear the dark. Why? Because they all fear death. A, a playwright once claimed this. People are born crying. 
<laughs> what is what is happening? Oh my gosh. To die and for a new life to be born come with unimaginable pain. When all are immortal, change will cease and peace will come. Buruga will create that utopian world. Buruga is now locked in deep sleep in an ultra cold machine. He shall soon awaken in this world. Let us pray for that day. Cool. Yeah, he's probably in the lab. I mean, you know what, Chad? I was joking about fighting like the giant Chrono Trigger machine, <laughs> like how far the the technology thing is going to go. I feel like we are going to fight a giant robot in this dungeon at this point. Like I said that as a joke earlier last session, I think specifically. But uh, no, it's really happening. We're going to fight Metal Gear in the basement of this lab. That's piloted by the spirit slash soul of Baruga, which sounds pretty much like a Metal Gear Solid plot, to be honest. Especially with all the talk of genes, that's perfect for Metal Gear. Metal Gear loves that stuff. Great Baruga will rise once again. He'll create an eternal paradise in this world. But do you have a tourism district? <laughs> <laughs> right, chat. Listen, I'm asking the hard questions. Those in white are white disciples who directly serve Baruga. It's a great honor to be chosen. Oh, to be a. Wait, hold on. That sentence doesn't make sense. It's a great honor to be chosen a white disciple serving Baruga. You mean like as a white disciple? Or to be a chosen white disciple serving Baruga? Yeah, so something in that sentence didn't work for me. I'm gonna grow up to be a white disciple when I grow up, to help Dr. Baruga. Okay. People will be afraid of all pain. Even death will be powerless. Oh, well, at least they're friendly enough to have a merchant shop. Although, they look really expensive. If I'm look oh wait, never mind, it's the upper end of materials. Red armor would have just granted us one defense, but perhaps some immunities. We're gonna save later. To make sure we're gonna do everything we can, then we'll save at Mosque. Okay, there's a door in the back. Yoink. Okay, well let's take a pause here then, chat. I think we had quite a long stream of Terranigma. I think that more than makes up for not streaming yesterday, Terranigma. Let's go ahead and save. Oh man, how do I even... How do I even begin to summarize what we did? Well, we saw horrible stealth mechanics. I'll never forget that. We saw hilarious clipping through said stealth mechanics, because the game is busted. Um, some awkward uses of items. We had menus where it said that I couldn't hold items even though I had empty spaces. So, oops. I guess they forgot to program it and left it in for looks only. So, oops. If those are supposed to be important slots for guaranteed plot weapons, probably should have designed it differently so that way it appeared like that. Just saying, just saying, chat. Because Rock Spear isn't in like a square of the ones that aren't used, but we aren't allowed to get rid of it either. It's not no, no, chat. I mean, I guess the boss we fought today was. It was okay. Like, we fought much worse on stream. It wasn't the longest boss battle we fought. If not for not realizing I took 88 damage, we probably would have uh, first tried it with very minimal healing. So it's there. 
So far, the town building has been a big bust. I mean, the closest maybe we came to something useful is doing another airport to Australia in case the plot takes us there, because we know there's a mountain we have to go to eventually. But that's literally it. I, I think when you don't... So, like, here's, here's an example of, like, a blend of quests without necessarily just giving me gems because i don't find gems that useful either to be honest at this point in the game imagine if a lot of our weapon armor optional accessories or like anything we used in combat including rings imagine if they just straight up gave us like a lot of rings or like a dozen gems like magistone if all of those like it would kind of translate into potentially you know, the exploration and deep dive into the world rewarding you for combat later would have made more sense. But instead, like, we're getting, like, what, 50 gems, 100 gems, and we have items that cost, like, 6,600 gems. So, like, even the reward it gives us is very paltry. Like, it could barely afford a mid-tier healing item that we had access to for most of the game. So... If it's not going to just straight up give us XP, like there are other things it could have given us. I think it would have been better off to have just given us XP and that would have removed some grinding from the game, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, so far the town stuff has been pretty pointless. Like we talk to people and we see some evolution in the culture. Like for example, the... Uh, the weavers move on to their own store and now the person that only makes clothes for the aristocrats is now basically out of business so there is like a little bit of like progression with the npcs which i'll give them a point there is somewhat interesting but i don't think it still really justifies itself it's just not quite cooked enough still and then obviously all the other jank we experienced countless countless moments of jank just just like hands, hands, hands in the face. Just put them in the face. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking for a lot of things. But hey, at least we're at a point where maybe this next dungeon, we've leveled a couple times. If we happen to be under leveled, we'll try to get at least one more level in this dungeon. Since uh, 11 health, 2 defense does kind of make a difference at this point. And we've seen the damage difference of like 4 strength. So even if we only get 2 strength at a level up, it's going to cut down boss time significantly if we could still manage to kill on the way there. Uh, granted, not every room is going to be good for it. I'm hoping the lab has a very easy to farm room so we could just power level. But we'll see what happens. But anyway, chat, I think that's all for now. We're going to leave it as one big video. So have fun, have fun you viewers on YouTube. But with that, chat, I'm going to say... I think it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.